Hello, everyone. Hi, how you doing? I am like 30 seconds late. Oh my God. Oh my God. Cancel the streamer. All right, so today we're doing more New Game Plus. Uh, we made it to chapter six, I think, last night at the end of stream. I believe that's where we are. And what we're doing now is we're going to continue playing through the game and uh, looking for the rest of these special marker fragments to try to get the special ending for new game plus that's the deal you got you the 12 marker fragments nice screamer nice nice i'm gonna be working on that tonight now because i had to restart the playthrough halfway through the stream last night i'm certain that i've missed some stuff i might even missed a fragment but the beauty of this is is uh, we can always go back and look for them I do believe we have to get them all before starting the final chapter because it's the point of no return. When you start chapter 12, you actually go down to the planet. So I don't know if there is one down on the planet, but I, I really don't think that they would do that to us. That would be kind of, uh, I feel like that'd be bad placements. It would just be bad placement and bad design around the ending. So as long as we get everything before chapter 12 and that point of no return, we should be good to go. So we're going to make sure that we have all 12 of them before that point. And the reason I say that as well is because there is that table with the 12 candles on it. All right, they are all, all on the Ishimura? I thought so. It just makes sense that way, right? It just makes sense. Entering zero gravity. So we're going to make this work. Now, I'm not going to be worrying about any of the other achievements today. I'm just going to make sure that we get that secret ending because that's the most important thing for us now. I'm really excited to see it because, you know, it's something that they added new. It's an, an additional thing. All the other achievements I can kind of get whenever. This one is a little more important because we are a new game plus. And I want to make sure that we grab that. Oh, hey, there you are. I thought I heard you. Bang, 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 pew, pew, pew. All right, good stuff. Now, who do we see in the chat? Sound off, folks. Say hello. Say hello so I can say hello to you as well. I see... Cowboy Preston, Josh Meadows, Mythic Blue, Hawkmire Outdoors, Evergreen Barge, Lori, Screamer, Richard, Zaza, Dadang, Cruisin, Decreasing Mass, Asuka Tano, Jay Lee, Ludex, Ash Jetson, I see Srebov and Crashy Indigo, Good Christian, Mike Event, Amazing Rando, Miss Bradica, Guitar Player, Black Eggs, Icky Yukai, What's up, Barge? Hey, Tila. Queen Ganyu is here. Hello. What's up, Lisa Yurt? Girth Brooks, Dab of Fate. Good to see you, man. Hope you've been great. Richard, you got all the achievements except the Wishbone one that I was trying to get last night. Yeah, it, it looks like it looks like a, a lot of people are actually struggling to get it, but apparently there is a point in the game which makes it easier. And if I do end up going back there, I'll show you. Um, but yeah, um, I'll try it out there myself and see if it works. Miker Zizu, Renee, hello. Bang! Hey Kelly, hey Snowboards, Lawrence, hello. Drop my like on the video, thanks man. Thanks for tuning in, thank you for leaving a like. I appreciate it. All right, this only go back this way. Very good. Hey, Esther. Hey, Eric. Hey, Milan. What's going on, everyone? How you doing? Happy Saturday to you all. Thank you for tuning in. Hanging out with me on the weekend. <laughs> I shot that thing clean off. I missed. Now, guys, I'm not going to lie to you. Um, I woke up at 9 a.m. this morning. I'm getting used to my schedule. Like, I didn't struggle so much actually getting some sleep last night. You know, I got I got five hours of sleep, which is a little more than the previous day. So I'm feeling good about that part. But the big thing is 
is I actually got up out of bed uh, when my alarm went off. So, you know, I'm, I'm you know, my body's adjusting. I, I wasn't as groggy. You know what I mean? Wasn't as groggy. And I, uh, I played a lot of Escape from Tarkov early this morning and early afternoon and with my buddy Cam. And I'm going to be honest with you, man. Right up until the very last raid that we did, I got my ass kicked in that game. I just, I couldn't see anyone. I was just missing all my shots. It was terrible. So we're taking up all this pent up terribleness from Escape from Tarkov earlier today on these Necromorphs, okay? Okay, that's our plan here. It's time to take out all of our pent up anger and gaming energy on Necromorphs. Can I live on five hours of sleep? It's something that, you know, as weird as it is, you just kind of like, it's never a good thing to get that little, little sleep, but you do grow accustomed to it. It just gets to a point where you end up, um, biding your energy in a way. You know what I mean? You can, you kind of like bide your, bide your time, wait for the right moment to really use up your energy. I just kind of wait till stream. You know what I mean? That's pretty much what I do. As weird as that sounds. Looking forward to more pew pew bang bang. Hell yeah. I think a lot of it is too with uh the Tarkov gameplay that I put that I did this morning was uh I'm not used to really gaming at that early hour, so it was noticeable. I'm pretty sure there's a brute in this room. I think. There it is. We gotta do all this so we can deactivate the gravity so we can get the Weezer up there. Hey, Hendrax. Hello. Hello there. Okay, why did I just one shot that brute? It died on the very first shot. Did I hit a weak point? I might have hit a weak point without even realizing it. Interesting. Any spy balloons in the chat? Not that I know of. Are any of you guys uh, spy balloons? Any spy balloons in the chat? Any spy balloons? I know it's all over the news, man. It's pretty much all I've read about the last couple days. Did I play Dying Light? Yeah, play Dying Light 1 and 2, and both playthroughs are actually on my YouTube channel. Interestingly enough. Keep hearing like noises over here. All right, let's look around the room. Make sure we got everything. Kill you. The pew pew bang bangs bring the uh, atmosphere to the next level. True. That's the true true right there. You're a spy bird? Well, I mean, birds aren't real. They're all drones, so that makes sense. That does add up. What's up, Muhammad? How's it going? Toxic hazard cleared. Now open the door. How dare you? How dare you? Okay, now let's look around. So something that, um, that kind of made me realize I need to look in more places for these, um, these markers was there was one on top of the cryo room 
Uh, you know that little cryopod thing that we froze the hunter in earlier, earlier in the playthrough? There was one, there was a marker on top of it, which makes me concerned that I have missed a couple of them, if not more. So I'm, I'm just looking around everything, making sure that, you know, I have a better chance in actually seeing them if they are in the room. I don't know if there's actually any in this room, but ever since seeing that specifically, I've been much more thorough, much more diligent. But I'm still certain that I've missed some. That's a blue glow. That's not what I need. One marker appear in every chapter. I do not know. Uh, I, I'm very much so unaware of how they're placed. I'm not seeing any down below, but you know, we're going to turn the gravity off and float on up. So we might see one somewhere in this room. In fact, I would say this room is a great place to put one in because we do have to float up. And so that kind of opens up the explorability of this room. But I'm not seeing one on the bottom area at all. So. Bang. Ain't not seeing one around here. Let's go ahead and uh, activate this then. Because I think that I've seen everything down here all the way. Hopefully. Now, the thing we need to look for specifically is... Oh, I need a deck systems key card still. Shit, man. Where is that? Should be in one of these rooms. Uh, Mozzie, I have no plans on playing Dark Souls 2 after this. No. I'll be playing Hogwarts Legacy in a couple days when that releases, though. All right, it's not in there. Then it should be in this room here. Hey, Majin Kai. There it is. No marker in this room. You're late again? No, I'm just happy to have you here, man. Pokemon meet. Hello? Definitely hearing another one somewhere. Where are you? Yeah, we got him. Yeah, we got him. All right, now we need to float around. Now keep an eye out for... What's this? I see a purple glow right here and a green glow here. It is a marker. Oh my God. I told you this was a good room for it, chat. Okay, so that really puts my mind at ease as to how I'm doing this then. I'm glad I'm being more diligent. Makes me very certain that I've missed some, though. Just need to look out for those purple glows, specifically. Yeah, that one was very well hidden, man. If I do end up missing some, like, I'm, I'm not ashamed. If I do end up missing some and I need to, I will just look up, like, the locations just so we can make sure we get this ending tonight. I'm not too concerned about that. I prefer to find them myself, but if I don't have all 12 by, you know, ch chapter 12, then I will accommodate that. What will happen when we get all the markers? We get a special secret ending. I cheated. I read the chapters they were in and just kept an eye out. <laughs> don't even have to get the actual locations. True. I do believe that means we have five. Uh, how do we look at key items? 
R. Oh, I've got six. I've got six, guys, so we're halfway done there. I thought we only had five for some reason. Okay, well, we're a little further along than I thought. sell this business I know there's a bench down there but we'll wait until we get to the next one let me go ahead and just move these to my inventory now too that way we have all the guns on us let's buy a node like I mentioned the rest of our credits through this playthrough just kind of are going towards as many nodes as possible I wonder what's going to happen in this room. Hmm. I wonder. Hey, Kitty Holler. Welcome. Hello from the US. Thank you for joining us from Germany. That's pretty cool. Where's everyone watching from today, guys? Let me know. Uh, Glalin in Dead Space 2008? No. It was first added in Dead Space 2. When is Ragnarok's new game plus coming out? I want to say... I don't know why I want to say this, but I thought it was already out. But I don't really know. If it's not already out, then I simply do not know. Saudi Arabia, Kentucky, Maryland, Portugal, Philly, Canada, Ontario, Texas, Austria. Very nice. Hey, John, what's up? Hop and say have a great stream. Thank you. Have to watch the video later. You know it'll be here for you, man. Entertaining in a club. Okay, man. Sounds good. Started watching my Dying Light playthrough. Very cool, man. Very cool. I appreciate you doing that. I'm glad you enjoy so many things on my channel. Man, I wouldn't doubt if there's a marker in this room, too, because it could be so well hidden. Like, there's all these little areas, man, that they could hide one in, you know? Brazilian watching from Montreal. Nice. Michigan, Minnesota. Maine, France. Oh, so cool. What's up, RFI? schematic what was that for what is this schematic force energy let's not get the zap okay I don't want to get zapped I'm not interested I'm not interested in getting the zap Okay, well, I checked all of these. You know, I don't know what to call these. I almost I almost called it a flesh hole, but that just sounds dirty. You know, so I, I'm not going to call it that. But I, I think I there was, what, three of them? I looked in all of them. I didn't see anything, so. What's up, Muddy Water? Right. Stand clear of filtration tubes. Right, very good. It's hitting the door jam there. 
Oh, good. Can hit it from all the way out here. I, I got. I don't know why, but I never realized that you could just kind of shoot through that. I never thought about it till now. <laughs> I'm usually so like into preserving my ammo that you know I'm just kind of not used to that idea. Stomp! Stomp! You've got red on you. Also, guys, as always, if you haven't already, make sure you leave a like on the video. I know it's annoying when YouTubers ask, but we wouldn't if it, you know, if it didn't help so much. It helps in a massive way. I appreciate you supporting my channel in that way. Let's go over here. There is a node in this room. You've got another node. Have some of this. Have some of that. Which game stream gave you the most likes? That would most definitely be Elden Ring. There was one stream where we hit, uh, what was it? 1,600 while live or something. Oh no, you know what? There was one time we actually hit 2,000 while live. It was kind of crazy. That, that, that was a nuts stream. We had 2,000 likes while live on that one. Oh, wait. Wants me to go back down this way? What did I miss? Wonder what game your wife ended up playing. She's been playing um, No Man's Sky. That's been her game of choice as of late. This one time at band camp. Earth Spring Mountain back home flavor. I don't even know what that means. Are you saying like the water I'm gonna drink tastes like dirt? I don't know. I don't know about that one. Does Dead Space have co-op? No. Dead Space Three does. Ishimura, you scary! Hey, Aqua, hey, Biggie. You burnt on Elden? No. No, I just, uh, I don't want to be burnt on Elden. That's why I'm not playing it. I could play it a lot more, but I don't want to resent the game. You know what I mean? Something's up. It must have worked. You gave it enough enzyme to dissolve a freighter. Hey, Connor. Okay, I'm a lucky good sorcerer. Quickly get back there and space the bastard while we have the chance. Thanks for 100 likes on the video, guys. Do, 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 do. How many games a year do you complete? Uh, it just depends on the games that release and like what I do on stream and everything. 
like uh the year 2022 i completed far more games than i did in the previous like four years combined but that was also the first year in content creation where i specifically was playing mostly if not exclusively single player stuff Down we go. Most least amount of likes on a stream that you know of? I have no idea, man. I'd imagine that would be one of my more uh, earlier streams that I did on the platform. What's up, Matt? get the finger without getting deluxe yeah yeah that's just what you get for completing the game on impossible difficulty without dying that's not tied to any edition of the game that's just strictly beating the game on the hardest difficulty snack of choice while playing i'll be honest with you i don't really eat while playing games it's pretty rare that i do like, even when wife, like, brings home something to snack on, I just generally wait to eat it until some other time. Top three games that impressed you. Uh, man, that's hard because there's different levels of impressions based on <laughs> different things. Like, God, I don't even know how to answer that, man. Inventory full. Well. Oh my god, would you aim? What was that delay? What the hell was that? Oh. There goes all the loot. Hey, Jennifer. You, Recommend three games that you definitely need to play or your top three games for 2022. Very interested in your opinion. Okay, so I'm going to go with, let, let me go with some games that really influenced my, let me give you some games that, in, that influenced the games that I generally look for and look for uh, that level of quality in. The first one for me is Stalker. 
Last I heard, he was on the, the second one for me would be Baldur's Gates. And I would put that side by side with Knights of the Old Republic 1 specifically. And then as far as the third. I need to make sure the air is safe to breathe. But if you can find that SOS beacon, call for rescue. Um, Star Wars Galaxy. And if I meet Jacob, tell him I'll find him. He's all I want to see. Star Wars Galaxy because it it, ha it was an MMO that had a system that made it so it made you realize there was much more to Star Wars than just the Jedi or just the Empire. There's a lot more to it, and in that game you got to actually live as something that was not one of these things. The whole idea behind the game was specifically to play as something that was not a Jedi. There were still people that could become Jedi. But it was a pretty rare thing and in the game it just really highlighted that idea and you would basically take a job or two and really like focus on that to you know make your money as a character and just try to progress in the game naturally in that way and that's something that i really appreciate that game for uh, i say baldur's gates and knights of the old republic because they built what i think of as proper rpgs and then Stalker, because that's uh, that was the first like big open world game I played that was not something that held your hand. As Stalker, Stalker was difficult, and you had to learn to navigate that world on your own. And so those would be some pretty big influential games for me. I'm doing all right, Psyduck. How are you, man? Cannot determine clearance level. Master security override required. We're doing all right, Spring Bonnie. How are you? Night of the Old Republic was amazing. I was crushed when the remake was shelved. Yeah, it's in the uh, development hell right now. Yeah, that that really made me sad. And see, that's why I, dude. This this is this is a big reason in, in why I wish that studios would just not announce things if they're not at least like halfway through the project. I would say, I would say if your game is not in alpha yet, you shouldn't be talking about it. Get the development team to sign NDAs so no one talks about it, you know, and then go from there. The mining deck systems are running haywire. Great. They announced that game before they even formally started working on it. And that was really frustrating. I'll check the mining control room. The launch tubes there can send out a beacon easy. I got all sorts of excited for that idea and then, you know. Now it's in development hell. No, the unitologists. They're all here on the crew deck. They've lost it. One of them stabbed her friend in the head. He just stood there. He fucking smiled. They're going somewhere. Hammond! Shit. Lost the signal again. We gotta find that beacon, Isaac. Fast. Welcome to the mining deck. And the way I said that just makes me think, welcome to the circus of value. I got to say that at least once a day, man. All right, here's another master override room. I do believe using this door is what gives us the side quest, if I remember right. Maybe. Yes. Some kind of home-brewed security lockdown. The miners locked up. So what I might do is actually break from the main mission right now, the, the main story quest, and actually go get these uh, rigs. So that way I can uh, just start hitting all these override things. All right, that's covered. That's covered. Got to do the flamethrower, the ripper. Pulse rifle's covered for now. Plasma cutter's maxed. Force gun we could upgrade. Let me go ahead and just uh, do the Ripper first. No, I need you to... Thank you. I'm not going to lie, guys. Uh, after seeing some images on Hogwarts Legacy, 
Um, I've not seen any gameplay, but I've seen people like tweeting images from the game. I'm actually a little concerned about the game. I know a lot of people are very excited for it, but I'm telling you, man, something about it looks off. I'm not quite sure. Why? Um, one of the biggest things is the, uh, the page where you equip your gear looks like a knockoff of Destiny 2. Yeah. It looks like a cheap knockoff of Destiny 2 on that page specifically. Which is not exactly great. All right, let me look at my missions. Side missions. Wait, why didn't it not show up? Let me go back to that door again. Maybe I have to actually let the conversation go. Cannot determine clearance level. Master security override required. No? Cannot determine clearance level. Master security Yeah, I know. It's what I did already, Richard. I hope I didn't break it somehow. Um, hmm. Well. When was the auto save? 1632, that was five minutes ago. Let me go ahead and pop this. Let me just see what happens here. We only lose five minutes with this. That's not a big deal. I hope I've, we've not done anything in five minutes. What's up, Barkados? Yeah, this is fine. Let me let me try this. See, I might have actually broken it. I walked away really quickly, so that might have been a problem. Delete old saves? No, those they're mostly auto saves. It's not a problem, dude. Hey, Siphian, what's up? The mining deck systems are running haywire. Great. Let me work on the elevators. Any idea where Temple's SOS beacon might be? I'll check the mining control room. The launch tube's there. Send out a beacon easy. Anyone there? Hammond? Where are you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No, the unitologist. They're all here on the crew deck. They've lost it. One of them stabbed her friend in the head. He just stood there. He, he fucking smiled. They're going somewhere. Hammond! Shit. Lost the signal again. We gotta find that beacon, Isaac. Fast. <laughs> Oh, there's something near you. There it is. A sealed room. Some kind of home-brewed security lockdown. The miners locked up some nice gear. Too bad. I could have put it to work. You still could, if we find the right rig codes. The captain's rig won't get me in? No, that lockdown's a custom job. But I can use the captain's codes to create an override framework. Didn't you find a senior officer's rig? A few more like that, and we're in business. Okay, framework's done. Find the rigs, download their codes into a bridge console, and it'll build you a master security override. All right, there's the side quest. So what happened is uh, because I walked away, it killed off that dialogue and broke the side quest. That's a little weird. But now we have these. Uh, Dallas's rig is on the mining deck, so that's in the future. We have Russo's rig somewhere in engineering, which I believe is future as well. We're getting to... No, have we, have we gone to engineering already? I don't know. Uh, Bailey's rig in comms. Benson's rig in the tunnels or near tram maintenance. And then Holt's rig in hydroponics, which... We just left hydroponics, so let's track this. 
Hey, Xavier, what's up? We're going to try to get these because I do want to, like, part of the thing I'm doing on this playthrough is getting all of the, uh, all the weapon upgrades so that way I can max them all out. I think Callisto is still worth trying out after playing the remake? No. No, if you wanna if you wanna see the Callisto protocol, you can yeah, I would say just go watch my playthrough on YouTube. That that's what I'd say that's what I would say about that. I would not waste money on that game. How you doing, Chris? All right, it's telling me to go up, so up we go. I'm fine, how are you? I'm doing all right, man. Finished your past streams today sometime. Sometimes it looks fun, but the performance is quite sad. Yeah, there's a lot of stuttering and stuff. Really want it to be a good game? Yeah, me too. I was hoping and wishing. Really was hoping that it was going to be, you know, uh, more like Dead Space. Oh my god, Holtz Rig is right here. I went around the other side, and because of that, I missed it. My god. All right, engineering, communications, I don't have access to. Tram maintenance, I don't have access to, I guess. So I guess we're just going to go get Dallas's rig. Dallas's rig is actually in mining. I, I, I can picture that one in my head. I don't think that one's really missable. So let me track Rousseau's rig. Exiting zero gravity. Yeah, uh, talk about Hogwarts Legacy. I'm not wishing poorly on the game by any means. I want it to be good, but based on like the screenshots I saw, I'm definitely skeptical now, which is, I'm kind of concerned about it. What's up, Andrew? Good to see you, man. this game uh <laughs> that's a really hard hard question to answer i don't really know i don't really i don't really know okay let me check off let me just go get dallas's rig first because we can also contain continue main story while we do that it should be this way in front of me did i not select the objective Yeah, find mining supervisor Dallas's rig. It's taking me nowhere on that. Okay. Level three security clearance required. Well, I guess we'll go get the other one then.
how would I improve this game? Uh, make it longer? <laughs> okay, it's telling me to go here, but I'm already here. What? Oh, out the other side. I see. Yeah, I forgot engineering is on the opposite end here. Better final boss battle. Why are phasing necromorphs harder than the final boss? It's just because it's like a, it's an, it's just a, a fight with old mechanics. You know, um, you're supposed to be more in awe of the beast rather than having the beast be difficult to fight, right? You like the AI, the game's story in the trilogy? Are you talking about in Dead Space overall? Exiting zero gravity. I don't really, I don't really know. It's been so long since I specifically played Dead Space 3. I don't remember the AI feeling like it didn't make sense. I can say that much. Oh, that's in security three. Right. Okay. Well, we'll have to come back for that later. All right. So from, from now, uh, we just continue the main story until we get security three and then we search around. Okay. Activate the launch tubes. Wow, well, a Dead Space 2 remake? No. I wouldn't really expect to hear anything on that for a while if they're going to do it at all, though. How often do you hear about uh, a game coming out and then less than a week later <laughs> that they announce the, you know, a sequel? You know, that, that, that very rarely, if ever, happens. So I wouldn't really expect anything like that for zero I would say you probably wouldn't even hear about anything about that until like a year, year and a half from now, if at all. Hulk Hogan's giant taint. They give it the $10 super chat. Delicious hand cannon. Thanks, man. Bang, bang, pew, pew. Thanks, Hulk Hogan. Thanks, dude. The stepping stone for gaming back then i mean yeah i get it i mean i agree but still you can't expect that type of uh stuff so quickly that's just not not how it's going to work and all games in dead space trilogy yeah um you know i don't really i don't know I, everything's always made sense to me except for like the the, the gameplay of three specifically I don't, what really bothers me about three the most was just how the game like worked like it was more action-packed than it was horror and that did kind of bug me admittedly that that did bug me you know we're just gonna sell all the ammo there Hulk Hogan thank you again for the ten dollars dude I really appreciate it man thank you for doing that and now I am I'm not saying that I wouldn't like a Dead Space 2 remake I would love that I just am not expecting it because I don't think that there's I mean even even Mass Effect when they did the uh, Legendary Edition those were remasters not remakes right so I don't think there's actually been like a uh, like a remake followed up by another remake and then you know onto a potential extra remake on top of that from there. Resident Evil 2, 3, and 4. Yes, but those were not consecutive. Like, those were all spaced out over the course of years. Two of the mining 
outlets are locked down, even though all systems are running. I'm gonna figure this out. Alright, we're gonna get ambushed on this thing. I think there'll be more marketing for Suicide Squad kill the Justice League after the release of Hogwarts Legacy. Is that Warner Brothers as well? If it's Warner Brothers as well, which it very well might be, then I would expect more marketing soon, yeah. It also depends on the release date of the game. I don't know, marketing around games these days is very strange. You don't see a whole lot of television commercials. Yeah, like, don't get me wrong, you do see them from time to time, but... It's usually for like the wicked big launches, right? Like the, the very large things. Like you see Call of Duty commercials when they, you know, they're releasing a new Call of Duty every year. Um, and that, I think that would be the only like consistent video game based commercial that you really see. Suicide Squad is Warner Brothers as well. Then yeah, I expect them to ramp up the marketing after Maybe like a month after Hogwarts Legacy comes out, if they're going to market it at all this early, then yeah, I would expect it then. They're going to they're, they're marketing Hogwarts Legacy now and will continue to do so for at least the first month that it's out. And based on uh, everything that we can see as far as like wish lists and all that stuff, Hogwarts Legacy is definitely one of the larger games this year. At least as of yet, so they're definitely gonna push that one the hardest, more so than anything else. Hello? Is that Jim? Was that Jim? That might have been Jim, guys. Ah, uh, yes. Locked. Just watching your Bloodborne Elden Ring Dagger Scythe Dragon Incantation runs, and I must say, I find you to be one of the most chill streamers, and I love that you keep up the good work. Hey, thank you, Mad Sanity. Thank you. Also, keep hope alive that one day you will do a playthrough of Skyrim. I mean, listen, uh, that might be a thing that I actually do if we ever get a full-on release date of the next Elder Scrolls game. In fact, uh, I'd be down to do, like, maybe videos around it specifically. Doing a Skyrim playthrough after we actually learn when Elder Scrolls 6 is going to happen. Because they revealed it years ago, but we've seen nothing on it since. And, uh, you know, I'm not sure how much longer it's going to take, but people are ranging at anywhere from 2024 to 2030. <laughs> so, you know, it's really hard to really hard to tell when it's going to happen. Whatever happened to Earthworm Jim? I don't know, man. I don't know. Anyone know what happened to Earthworm Jim? Where'd he go? What's he doing these days? I wouldn't mind like an Earthworm Jim game again, even if it were side scrolling like the classics. Like the old, specifically the Sega Genesis version of the game, man. If they were to make something like that, I'd, I would play it. You know? Aya. All right. Well, I guess we're just going to we're just going to do this. Yeah. We're just going to tank it, I guess. All right. That's security 3. A bird found him. Damn. Launch tubes. I love the way the uh, a voice says tubes. Launch tubes. Launch tubes sealed. Someone actually used him for fishing bait. Oh no, Evergreen. 
Muddy Water, thanks for hanging out with us. Hope to see you again soon. Are there many game commercials in the US and Germany? I would say it's nearly none. Couldn't even remember a single one. Uh, the only one they can think of that is consistent is Call of Duty. You do see commercials for other games here and there. Like, I remember seeing Dying Light 2 commercials. Okay, I'll unlock the subjects. But I can't really think of any others that I've seen in the last, like, year or even two years. Can anyone else, anyone specifically in the States, can you recall any, any TV commercials or even ads when watching, like, streams or videos? Specifically video games? I don't really see a whole lot of video game based ads. I saw a ton for Dying Light 2 and I always see them all the time for Call of Duty. But I can't think of anything else as far as ads go. How about you guys? Oh, you know what? Horizon Zero Dawn. You're right. I do. I did see some some uh, ads for that just as it came out. Yes. Alexandru, hello. What's up, Emmy? Yeah, I forgot about Horizon Zero, uh, Horizon Forbidden West specifically. That did have ads. NBA 2K23. I never saw ads. I, I, man, I don't think I've ever seen an NBA ad for a game. Like a video game specifically. I did see Ghost of Tsushima ads just before it released. That was what? three, if not more years ago now. From a commercial for Destiny 2. I don't know that I've ever seen a commercial for Dead Space. I'm sorry. Uh, wow. For Destiny. Diablo 3. Yeah, I don't think I saw any of that. God of War Ragnarok had ads. The Ben Stiller ad. That's right. Dr. Professor. Yeah, I do recall that one now that you mention it. True. True. Raid Shadow Legends? Yeah, you see ads for that everywhere. What's up, Chancio? Aquatic Borealis? Hello? Oh my god, I don't want the ladder. Thank you. seen an ad seen me adding these nuts okay okay dude all right hey, someone banned that guy um, I could reach you. If you say that's all mobile yeah yeah pretty much like the larger mobile games like clash royale uh shit what's the other big one aside from raid shadow legends there's, there's another big one that i can't think of that you see ads on the regular for too Which one of you in chat is screaming like that? Oh, Genshin Impact is another big one. Yes, that's true. I, I just saw a Genshin Impact ad earlier today, actually. Yeah, that's that's also true. You know what really sucks about Genshin Impact is the gameplay for that game is actually good, but it's like your basic gotcha, like I'm gonna take your entire wallet game. You know what I mean? Like if you really wanna do well in that game and do the end game content on the regular and everything, you really have to invest money which sucks because the gameplay of that game is actually pretty good don't get me wrong you can play it free but you just get so much more out of the experience if you do pay and that sucks to say you saw ads for tiny tina's wonderlands Hmm, I'm not recalling those myself. Security request retrieved. Oh, okay, snowboards. I understand, man. <laughs> Sounds like Lost Ark. Yeah, Hulk. Yeah. That's very much so up there in that regard, too. Very unfortunate that that happens, man. Like, I understand, like, some games are just like that. They're like, gotcha or pay to win. You know, I get it. Like, that's just that that's their monetization model. You know what I mean? Like, that's their choice as a studio and publisher to do so. But man, like, it really sucks when you see something like that has quality gameplay that you enjoy the idea of. And then you find out that it's like a pay to win model, you know, like that, that feels terrible. 
I don't know. I just don't like that. Uh, Breath of the Wild. Um, I saw Breath of the Wild ads long ago when they were first releasing the game, but it was more so around the Switch than it was that game specifically. Because they used that game to help sell the console. Which makes sense because, you know, it was one of the first games on the console. Yeah, Joe, yeah. I know there's a lot of people that agree with me, but I, I like to voice it anyway, just because like, you know, I, it's one of those things like affirmation, affirmation around that prospect, that idea, you know? I didn't mean to do that. I hear one here, one behind me. Where are you? There you are. I'm, I'm telling you, man, there's there's some really great stuff around the, the audio design in this game. To be able to just kind of like hear them screeching about and being able to target them based on that is really well done. If only multiplayer games could actually make audio like that, you know? My god, that would be something. I know it's easier in single player games because a lot of it can be like premeditated, you know, like they're they're always gonna go in the same or you know, come from the same areas. But this game has some randomized elements too, and I'm able to always tell what's going on based on the audio alone. That's that's something, man. I just like unfinished games like cyberpunk well i mean i don't i don't really think anyone enjoys an unfinished video game they can enjoy the the prospects and certain aspects but i'm pretty sure everyone would prefer them all to be finished on release right this is your favorite game right on sanju you know it's a remake hey nothing wrong with that man this, this game is great too there's uh, Dallas's rig, by the way. I remember that location. We'll get that after this room. Watching a Hogwarts ad as we speak on YouTube? Interesting. I've not seen any of uh, ads on that myself yet. I'm going to add before your stream. My old tired brain doesn't remember what it was. Third person world building kind of Sims, but in space. Huh. Interesting, Jennifer. You know, I guess my overall concern is when it comes to Hogwarts Legacy, based on the screenshots that I saw, it doesn't look wildly impressive, but that doesn't mean that it won't be. You know what I mean? But the big thing is like one of my favorite games ever to cast spells in to, to be a mage in whatsoever is the Dragon Age franchise and specifically Dragon Age Inquisition made it so magic was so incredibly cool to use. It was flashy. It was powerful. And it made sense to actually have as part of your team, right? So Dragon Age Inquisition really did well with the spellcasting side of the uh, of RPGs. My overall concern is, is considering that uh, Dragon Age Inquisition came out in what, 2014 or 2015? If Hogwarts Legacy doesn't feel as good or better than that, then I feel like we kind of regress as far as expectations go when it comes to spellcasting based gameplay. I know they're very different in how they operate as universes and games, but that's just how I kind of have it in my mind. I've made sure they can't leave this uh, Sanju, this is the hand cannon. You specifically unlock it by, by beating the game on impossible difficulty without dying. To the bodies. What they become. Is there a trailer of the new Dragon Age? Wait. And I Where, Emmy? Let that happen. I need to see that. To me. 
I need to, I need to see that specifically. I'm a massive Dragon Age fan, so I need to see that immediately. I'm doing all right at the end. How are you, man? Unlimited ammo? Yes, it has unlimited ammo. It's a bit of uh it's like an Easter egg gun. It's just something special to play through the game with. Rewarding you for beating the game on the hardest difficulty without dying. Oh nice, some markers here. There's a little dino fella. There's a little dinosaur fella. Everyone say hello. Everyone say hello to Truckosaurus. Hello there. Hi. Cute little guy. Hello. Got an award for taking a certain number of screenshot or no, I think it just uh it has a pop-up when you take a screenshot. Yeah, it just has that pop-up in general. Harry Potter magic system seems more monotone restrictive than other fantasy IPs. It's hard to have different classes in Harry Potter universe. Yeah, that is that is, you're right, Wandering Mind. Yeah. You, I'm not discounting that at all. You are right. It's definitely more singular and, you know, it's it's a universe based around magic. So, you know, I respect it. I'm not dismissing it based on that idea. And I'm still excited to check it out and everything. But it's just a matter of, you know, the game is drawing closer. And so I'm just kind of spelling out my thoughts and potential concerns around the whole idea. Based on what I've seen and everything so far, I'm just a little skeptical and I'm hoping that, uh, I'm hoping I am wrong. Like, I, I hope that my brain can be, you know, quieted when the game releases. Dragon Age Red Wolf? Yeah, that's the next game. I just didn't know that they were showing ads on it. It's weird because why would they be why would they be marketing the game if they don't have a solid release date yet? That's like do they show a solid release date? Did they did they announce a release date and I didn't know about it? It's gonna be on PC? Yeah, it'll be on all platforms except Switch, I'm sure. in my fridge? No, only Skyrim on your Samsung fridge. Yeah, Wandering Mind, again, you are right, and I'm not discounting the game on that aspect. I'm just uh, voicing my general concerns, and I'm hoping that it can be something that... I'm hoping that it can be better than what I have in my mind, essentially. Did you? No. You know, use skill points to alter how spells work and you 50 points apparently to max skills and they're shown to be an achievement for reason level 40, so maybe 40 points to, point to plan? Right. No, I know Wandering Mind. I'm just, again, I'm, we're just having conversation, buddy. It's all cool. Like, I just, I just love, like, one of my favorite things to do while playing video games is to discuss video games. And something that I feel like most people here are very capable of is talking with a level, a level mind about it, which I think is awesome. Hey, come here. Where are you going? So it's only those tentacles that actually take damage. I know you can use fire to damage the tentacles while they're inside the body as well. That's something too. All right, let's open up all these doors back here. Storage one. Is this a mod? No. 
you can get this weapon by beating the game on the hardest difficulty without dying. That is something though, guys. Can we take a moment? Like Cristiano and a couple other people have already come in today asking if this was a mod or what this weapon is and stuff like that. It's kind of crazy that this type of thing happens so rarely in games these days that people are questioning if it's even naturally in the game. You're, you're saying you'd suggest Dragon Age Inquisition for an RPG? First, I've heard of this game. Oh my god, Cassandra, if you enjoy RPGs, please play Dragon Age from the very beginning. Play Dragon Age Origins play Dragon Age 2, and then play Dragon Age Inquisition. If you have not played these games, you are in for a mind-blowingly great time. Dragon Age 2 is admittedly not nearly as good as Origins and Inquisition, but across the board, they are all worth playing. Please play them in that order. Please. Please, please, please. I beg of you, if you enjoy RPGs, play them in that order. Oh my god, I envy you. I wish that I was able to play them again for the first time. They are incredible. Oh man, oh man. Okay, what is this? Why is this door still open? Even though I selected the other one. Oh, no, no. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm just... I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Just as you said, no drop date. Okay, so they are advertising it, but no actual date on it. Okay. Thank you for looking into it, snowboards. I appreciate it, dude. Say the order again to be sure. Origin to Inquisition. And again, I will repeat that 2 is not nearly as good as Origin and Inquisition, but it is still worth playing to fill in the gaps of the story. Oh man, I, I oh, if you've not played these games, oh my god, you are in for one hell of a treat. You can get Dragon Age Origins on Xbox for like 20 bucks. They are on Game Pass, both on PC and uh, Xbox as well. If you have Game Pass, you don't need to worry about buying them. You can just play them on Game Pass. Specifically on PC Game Pass, it'll make you play through EA Play, but still worth it. You can get Dragon Age Origins on Xbox for like 20 bucks. Should I play it? I never did play that one. Yeah, is it, dude? Dude, yes. Um, Think about it like this. The original purpose of Dragon Age was to be a spiritual successor to Baldur's Gates. It is a pure drag or I'm, it is a pure Dungeons and Dragons campaign set in a in a world with arch demons and dragons and all sorts of other cool shit, man. It is a it is just pure old school classic RPG based on D&D rules and it is awesome. It is a spiritual successor to Baldur's Gates. That is, that is why it exists as a as a uh, a franchise. <laughs> is Kaz Akio on that platform? I did, man. Wait, why is that not blowing up? Hello. Oh, it's hitting a hitbox right there. Got it. Dragon Age games are on my bucket list. Somehow never played them. Oh my God, dude. So worth it. So worth it, man. Hi. Oh 
my god. I can't believe you're here. I thought I'd never see you again. I'm gonna get us home. Was an SOS beacon. To be fair, it looks modded? Oh, absolutely, it does look modded. But I'm just saying, like, it's such a cool thing to see that it's something that people are not expecting to be built into a game these days. Something, uh, something that's kind of ridiculous. You know? It's something that was common at one point in gaming, having stuff like this just built into the game, you know? These days, it's not so much. I know. We'll have time. I promise. Let's get you that beacon. Everyone's counting on us. PS5's origin is probably unplayable to me, unless it's on PS Plus. Inquisition, on the other hand, I can access easily if I want to copy. Yeah, you can play any one of them without really having played the other ones. I just think that the story overall in the entire, you know, across all three games is worth it is worth playing if possible you can definitely like if you want to play just inquisition it's worth it too like just that game by itself is absolutely worth your time is the gun a mod no it is built into the game you get it by you unlock it by beating the game on impossible difficulty without dying it's done the workshop's open i've never seen you at work you're a surgeon with that played thing. fallouts yes I i've played all the fallout games including okay. tactics which was terrible no focus on launching that sos beacon there's maintenance ducks everywhere i'll catch up you see any more you hide okay cross my heart i love you isaac you can do this i don't believe you back the way they were and make us whole again and make us whole again Hold on, there's something back here. Yeah, thank you for joining us, Akazard. I like those two, those those types of games as well. I love tactical RPGs. I'm a big fan of that type of gameplay. I just didn't like Fallout Tactics. He's a trooper, huh? I'm heading back to the mining control room. I'll launch the beacon. You watch out for Nicole. Assuming this is that was the first thing Nicole wasn't herself. Yep. <laughs> Indeed. Make us whole again. All right, I know there's some stuff here. I wouldn't doubt if uh, there's a marker here. Because I know there's little compartments. Uh, more of these um, aptly named flesh holes in the walls. There's a security room down here. Flamethrower upgrade. There's our crab friend. Everyone say hello to Krabby. Hello there, Krabby. Yes, 12 fragments. Entering yep. Zero gravity. There are 12 total fragments. Okay, uh, we need to make sure that we didn't miss any stuff down here. I don't know if there's actually a marker down here or not, but I just figured with the way this room works, just like the previous room where there was no gravity and we did find one, you know, it just kind of makes sense. But I'm not seeing one, so... Of course, we can still check out above the platform, too. Yeah, all right, let's check above. Hey. 
I just hear another one spawn? There you are. Security recording retrieved. Isaac? It's Liz Cross. I heard gunfire. It had to be you or Jacob. I thought I'd never see you again. I'm gonna get us home. There's an SOS beacon nearby. We can call for help. This place has really got to you. Isaac, I have Jacob's codes. I can get you into the workshop. Come on. I'm doing all right, Lorenzo. How are you, man? I have a bug on chapter seven. Will the launch of the asteroid, does anyone have this problem? Um, can you explain what the bug is? I'll be doing the asteroid room here in a little while. Exiting zero gravity. When's the next Elden Ring stream? Uh, Danker, I have 26 playthroughs of Elden Ring on my channel already, man. If you want to watch Elden Ring, I've got you with those 26 playthroughs. I have no current plans on playing it right now. I've already played that game far more than the majority of people will ever, so I'm just kind of chilling on it, you know? It's pretty great, Franklin. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, wait, there's more. Oh, no, we're good. Mining? Dex C mining. Beware, traps ahead. Yes, we've already been here once before. But yeah, I have nothing against Elden Ring, and I'm sure that I'll do another playthrough at some point. I just have no plans around it right now, because I've already played the game so much. And there's a lot of new games coming out that I would love to be able to play as well, so that's what I'm going to do. Press the button to launch the asteroid, and nothing happens. Are you sure that you destroyed all the tethers? And please don't want to take offense if I'm mentioning, like, the obvious things to make that happen but there's a surprising amount of people that didn't destroy all four tethers there's actually some people that have only destroyed two because that's what they thought that's all there were i see you jen what's up today how you doing Little eyes, little eyes. What secrets have you seen? You know, I'm kind of surprised there's not a uh, a marker fragment in here. Seems like a good room for one. Mr. 
Administrator access granted. Prepping launch tubes. Hey, Stan, man, what's up? Stumblestorms as well? Hello. What was that? The miners must have booby-trapped the launch tubes, too. They're scrap. Well, that's great. We can't just toss the beacon out a window. Yeah, there's gotta be something. The asteroid... How do you think the game experience the would be if Isaac was had a less stoic it? personality? If the SOS beacon to that asteroid and then launch it away from the ship, we'd get a clean broadcast. And you'd get yourself killed. The machinery in there is still running, Isaac. I feel like the gameplay would no longer be Dead Space and it would go more to like uh, an Outlast type thing where you just kind of run around. <laughs> you just run away from everything instead of fighting. <laughs> Ooh, it's dark in here, guys. Asuka, see you later. Walking into the wall? That was a little weird. All oh, right, we got to bring that battery over. Oh, you're good wandering mine. I knew what you meant. Yeah, I feel like it would be no longer dead space and it would be more outlast. <laughs> to be fair, outlast in the dead space universe would be incredible. I mean, maybe. Do you guys ever play the old Clock Tower games? All right, so where we gotta go, let's check this room here. Oh, well, hello there. Inventory full. There we go, not anymore. All right, I need to hit a store soon. I played D like you would not believe. So much D, D morning, noon, and night. You guys heard it here. First hand account from Screamer himself. He does indeed play with D. my clock tower it's uh it's a franchise of video games yeah i know a streamer <laughs> another no no other monsters i thought i heard one more but maybe it's just these moving that's kind of making me think that
Right, I'm going to wait a moment for these to go the other way, and then I'm going to run outside. Break these other two tethers here. It's tether breaking time. Oh my god, don't hurt me. I did grab the thing, right? Wife is home. Hi, wife. Thing. Caution. Gravity tether disengaged. I'm not sure how to pronounce your name, uh, E-A-Y, if you're still here. If you didn't get these two gravity tethers that are outside, make sure you get those as well. There's a, there's total of four, not just, uh, not just two. So make sure you get those as well before you try to launch the asteroid. Hey, Nimrod, what's up? We're good there. You guys remember the jump scare that the fire did to me in this room? I don't know why, but I thought the fire here was like a one hit kill like an insta insta kill mechanic and i actually got burned by it and uh i got really upset for like a fraction of a second <laughs> thought it was gonna kill me but it barely did any damage what's up mark is over there wait how dare you how dare you what's up t-morts it's working the beacon's online broadcasting wideband i'll align the receiver this will take a minute. Head on back to the train station. Okay, I uh, should get to... Yep, there it is. I was waiting for that to happen, but I forgot we have to approach the door first. Are you okay? Quarantine ship with that hunter there, the system can't lift the lockdown. Override the manual door release. I'll try. Damn it, he's targeted by half the circuit. Almost there, hold it off. I got it. Get the manual release. Says banger pew, both. <laughs> Pull yourself together, man. That's what I'm saying. All right, guys, real, real talk for a moment. Real sappy moment, okay? Real sappy moment coming at you from the Josh feed. Um, 
Thank you guys for tuning in. The fact that I can play uh, for, you know, a variety of games and still have this level of turnout for it is something that, uh, you know, it's an incredible rarity. It is, it's something that, you know, I've been, I've been streaming for over six years and I've never been in this situation up until recently. And I gotta tell you, man, it's, uh, it's one hell of a feeling. I really appreciate your company. Thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting what I do. You know, I appreciate it, guys. I, I truly do. Thanks for hanging out. You sound like prod. I'm going to be honest with you. I, uh, I recognize the name, but I've never heard prod's voice. Uh, I've never watched prod's content. So, you know, um, I hope it's a compliment as I do not know them, but thank you. You know, I'm going to take it like a compliment. Thank you. I appreciate you guys tuning into my streams. I appreciate you guys watching my videos. Thank you for leaving likes and comments on all of them. You know, it, it just... I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It's just something that... In my history of streaming, I've never been in this situation before. And it's, it's a great situation to be in. And I appreciate it, guys. Like, to no end. Like, an early copy of Atomic Hearts. Um... I don't know. I um, I don't even know who to reach out to. Munfish doesn't exactly have a community manager on social media that I've seen, so I have no way of like reaching out. I think it's gone, but I can't be sure. The system's so unless they again. send me one out of the kindness of their hearts, I don't think so. Glitches. The ones that look like my brother, waving at me. At least the beacon's away. I'm aligning the. Wait. What's up, the fighter girl? Not oh, shit. The great compliment is very oh, funny. Hey, thank you, man. Thank you, man. Then let's hope that 48 hours wasn't for you, I may not have ever finished Elden you're Ring. I got your back, rescue. Horatio. Redneck, thank you for the $5. Take hey, the man, you're the bang bridge. bang to I'll our pew pee, our pew pee, you, you know? Uh, did you mean pew pew? Or did you did you mean pew pee by that? Because, um... You know, it's a different conversation based on... <laughs> What's going on here? Hey! 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 How dare you? Oh my god. That is the best thing I've seen all day. My man really did just beat that skull with tentacles with a damn foam finger. That is the best. Thank you for the five, redneck. I appreciate it, man. You meant pew pew? Okay, I believe you. I believe you. Okay, now it wants me to go to the tram station. It looks like it's going to go to the next chapter. But what I want to do first is there's a bit of a side quest. We need to go for... Was it Rousseau's rig over in engineering? That's behind the level three door that we now have access to. Let's go do that. Oh, I forgot about this note right here, too. Oh, my God. I just saw it. Confirmed. Chapter 7, Into the Void. All right, we just got to make this cross here.
Open this damn door. Hey. There's some money floating there. Hey, hey, hey T-Morts. Thank you for the gifted membership going out to Tim Jackson. Thank you for doing that, man. Thank you for doing that, dude. It's a little loud in here. Yeah, that's, uh, that room has some big roaring going on. Sorry about that. T-Morts, thank you for the gifted membership, dude. I appreciate it. Thank you. You can gift members on mobile now? Huh. Well, that's cool. Thank you for doing so, man. All right, there's Rousseau's rig. I, re I really appreciate it, man. Thank you. All right, these other rigs say that they're inaccessible at the moment. No access. So we, I think we have to continue the story and then we'll be able to get to those later on. Um, where is this taking me? Okay, good. Back to the main story. Was the tissue sample one? Um, I can't remember what we get out of it. I think it's more story for Nicole specifically. Yeah, let's go. Let's go turn that in. Why not? Can confirm there's some mobile devices that one can donate memberships on. That's pretty cool. Oh, right. Yes, it's the prototype stasis module. Yes. Medical. Redneck Ninja with five gifted members to the community as well. Thank you so much, man. Cinderby, Salmonson, Satas, Tudo, and Vosker. Thank you so much for gifting them memberships, Redneck. Thank you, man. That's incredibly nice. Thank you, dude. Now arriving at medical. Let's see those cult emotes out there for the new non-cult members. Thank you so much. In a position to do it, so I does it. Yeah, it's very nice of you, man. Thank you. Do 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 do. All right, it's gonna bring me downstairs. Basically, going right there to that. ICU bed. Track objective. We go.
Oh, we are hearing the whispers. All right, ICU is going to be in medical. So we have to go all the way back to the medical place. Wrong door. All right, what is it? Uh, here's emergency room. There's morgue. ER hallway. Is it down here? Yeah. Makes sense to me. <laughs> Sir, that's illegal. All right, ER hallway B. Here's the intensive care unit. This is where I want to be, right here. Here's the bed. Hey, Swap Neil, what's up? What's the whispers and heartbeat all about? Uh, Isaac's slow dissension into psychosis over the marker, as well as anxiety. Of the whole situation. This errand you want me to do in ore storage. Basically, a combined Eyes mental break. Oh my god. I just realized there's an actual baby in there. What the shit, man. Oh man, that's dark. I was sitting here like hitting the glass, seeing if it would break, and I just realized there's a baby in there. Oh my god. Hey, Kratoga. Yeah, all good here, man. Yeah. Thanks for being here today, dude. Yeah, they do. I'm ready. Thank you, folks, for 250 likes on the video today. word on new valheim content um they did a bit of a teaser for some of the weapons that are coming with the new biome ashlands as well as they did show a picture of what the ashlands will look like on their twitter account but that's all so far you save the game i'm not saved in a while i'll do that next time i see a save station All right, over to ore storage now. Bit of a back and forth for this, but that's all right. How's wife's playthrough going? Has she finished yet? Uh, Valheim, I think she... I think she got bored of it. I don't think she's playing it actively right now. She's been playing a lot of No Man's Sky the last few nights. I'll make sure she's all good and ready to go before um, Ashlands releases. <laughs> yeah, Redneck, it's kind of cool, man. Isn't this chapter 10? No, I'm on chapter 7 or 8. I think we just started 8. But these are side quests specifically, so...
Valheim was such a fun stream. I'm excited for more. Yeah, dude, I like Valheim a lot. Very cool game. I would have kept playing it as if, um, I would have kept playing if there was more content to it. Alright, so ore storage is what we need here. Ore storage. Be further, but no, Josh had to go on dying. I know, man. To be fair, though, I did make up that time really fast. Basically got back to where I was in, uh, like two-thirds the time. Oh my god, what the hell? You're lucky. The frag was gonna find up at this point. We have seven. Man, I feel like we were just here, guys. Security request retrieved. Security, we got some freak called Harris stealing from ore storage. Dr. Mercer sent me for Osmium. This was a store at one point. Yeah, I don't care if God Almighty sent you. You skim from CEC's profit margin, we get screwed. God? So you can put that Osmium down, or I can break your arms first. I worked with people like you on Aegis 7. They'd steal my power nodes. Leave me to dig with no light. Hey, hey! Get off me! But when they abandon you in the dark, it's not empty. The marker whispered its revelations there. Now I understand them. Mm -hmm. You wanna hear? Warning. Untrained personnel may not use suit kiosk. No, no, stop, please! I said please when they shut me in. Screamed it too. I promise I will laugh like they did. Warning, since Kiosk is obstructed, serious injury may occur. Oh, God! Help me! <laughs> Incident report filed to bridge by Dr. Nicole Brennan. See related rig. Right. Hey, Swap Neil, thank you for the 400 rupees. And you say Suman Eta Maksudai? Sure. Just did. Not sure what it means. Hopefully it's nothing bad. <laughs> um <laughs> thank you for the 400 rupees, dude. I really appreciate the kindness. Thank you. Uh, hold on. I need to find reports on the bridge. Mm. Oh, this elevator's so slow. Thank you, Swap. Hey, Dopamine, how you doing? You have a feeling you passed many doors? Uh, yeah, yeah, I have passed many doors, you're right. Google Translate said that's what it means, really? That's kind of funny. <laughs> I, I see what you did there, Swap. I see you. 
<laughs> Thank you for the 400 rupees, dude. And Team Wards with another gifted membership to the community. Thank you so much. Went out to Gabor. Thank you very much for that, dude. Thank you very much. Let's see those cult emotes for the new non-cult member. Thank you. All right, now we got to go to the bridge. 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 One thing I will say about side quests like this is that it's just like a, it's like a fetch quest chain. Reminds me of like old school MMOs where you just go to one NPC to another to find a book, to bring the book to another NPC. So on, so forth, you know? It's something I expect uh, every game to have at least one of. Got the alternate ending we can discuss later. Sounds good, man. Right on. We did it. Hep, Isaac, a ship just shot in. The USM Valor. They must have heard our SOS. That fast? What's a military ship doing way out here? Out on patrol? Whatever. Right now I take a rescue from a fucking magpie. Head for communications. Once we fix the comms array, we can get all the answers we need. Let us make a save. Uh, was there anything cool in here? What's going on here? Not a damn thing. All right, noted. We need to hit the store here. Save game. Oh my God. I know it's crazy out here, dude. My man just tanked a uh, explosive barrel straight to the face. And why does he keep taking care of some hydroponics? Quarantine is a sanctuary, not Mercer's private lab, so stop covering for him. More accusations. Still no proof. You know your way out. He won't stop with Brian Harris. Tracking related to another activity. I'm getting weird feedback spikes on local comms. If whatever's wrong with the comms array is spreading. No. That's not it. So, uh, uh, the door to communications should be open. You can head down to the comms control station. And I do. All right, the main quest is overlapping with the side quest now, and it's... It's actually all right. It's actually all right, because that just means we have one less thing to do. Now to hydroponics. Hey, exhausted Axolotl, what's up? Hydroponics. 
Why am I here? You are chosen. Where are all the Pang ads? Pang? There's always Pang. No Pang? React. Do you pew before you bang or do you bang before you pew? You bang and then pew and then you pew and then bang. Or vice versa. However, however it is that you want to tackle the pew and bang business, that's up to you, dude. There's no wrong way to pew or bang. Hey, Muhammad, what's up? I want a poster that looks just like this. Motive and or EA, if you're listening, if you were to make merch, including this very poster, so I can hang it on the wall, I would appreciate that. Thank you. Altman, though, he is the father of Unitology, the religion based on the marker. Ow, man. To all survivors, turn back. I just discovered Dead Space a couple days ago, the original on the Xbox One Game Pass. It's so great. Can't wait to finish it and play part two, then three, and then the new one. Right on, David. Uh, I do hope that you know the new one is a remake of the first one. I do hope that you know that, but all the same, I'm glad you're enjoying your time. Oh, there's that security three door, so this is actually good that we're here. I wasn't able to get this earlier. Space is L. Ron Hubbard, yes. Al Zarani. Thank you for the 1999 SAR. I appreciate it. Josh, help me to finish Elden Ring and now Dead Space. Really enjoy your live streams. Keep banging and singing. Heck yeah, dude. Heck yeah, Khaled. Thank you very much for the uh, the 20 SAR. I appreciate it a lot, dude. Thank you. It was very nice. Thank you so much. How many survivors on this ship? Uh, by the time everything's done, one. Toxic hazard detected. Toxic hazard detected. Digging the armor? Yeah, it's pretty sick. You don't mind me reporting to you. Toxic hazard. There are worse places to work discreetly. They keep poisons here that would never be allowed to be medical, and now. Will I kill you? If you try, Mr. Harris. I have options. The containment module, for example. Remember your last radio? Stasis with consciousness? Quite useful. If only I hadn't wasted so much osmium on my last module design. <laughs> Alright, that is done. We'll take a look at these other side. Hold on. Yeah! 
You wanna hug it out, buddy? Just bring it in. Bring it in, but oh, look at him. Oh, that's so cute. Putting his gross neck thing on me. You know, if you look really closely at it, it kind of looks like... Now, guys, bear with me. Now, bear with me here, okay? Listen. If you, if you really look at it, it looks like the hole is a mouth. And then on the left side and the right side are tiny little eyes. And then the top part is like the rest of its head. Like its forehead and its, you know, it's the crown of its head, right? It just looks really happy. Doesn't he look so happy? Look at him. He's so pleased. The happiest necromorph. What a nice guy. What a nice guy. I didn't think we can get any closer, and here we are. <laughs> hey, what's up, May? How you doing today? How is recovery going for you? Hey, Lewis. Hope you're doing well. Oh, we can get to Officer Bailey's rig now. Because we can access comms. So let's prioritize that. Right on, Lewis. Sounds awesome, man. Glad you're enjoying your time here. Bridge. Bridge. Now that we got severely sidetracked. No, the music is getting intense, like there's about to be something attacking me. You collect the markers yet? I've got seven of them, sir, RFI. Now arriving at the bridge. Oh, good a store. I kind of need this store. Isaac would be a blast at the football games. Yeah, man. this oh it's probably the elevator right here right yes 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 indeed down to floor three let's go hey mooniverse what's up
the clicking of the elevator. <laughs> What's up, Richard? Welcome back. Dude, it's so funny when people are just kind of saying things in chat and then they're accidentally using better Twitch TV emotes. <laughs> like, like Richard says, okay, finish cooking. And he's got the little guy with the thumbs up because he said, okay. <laughs> it's just like, finish cooking, thumbs up. <laughs> I love it so much, man. If you don't have better Twitch TV installed as a browser extension, if you're watching on PC, you are missing out. Make sure you install that if you're watching on a browser on PC. It's too good. It's too good, man. That was weird. Why did my character randomly stop walking? Strange. A wishbone yet? No, I've not tried for it today. Communications array offline. A repair technician has been notified. Log. First comms operator Wait, there's Bailey's rig. I want... Didn't see emo emotes just then because you have to have better Twitch TV installed in order to see them. If you do have them installed, make sure that you uh, look at all the options in, inside of the actual extension. The Better Twitch TV settings will make it so you can see more things and, you know, kind of organize your experience in a way that you want to see it. It's an extension that's been around for years. It's safe to use and all that. It's made by the same people that make uh, Nightbots, which is a very trusted bot that people use to for streaming. CCP spyware? <laughs> no, it's nothing. It's there's no malware spyware involved in it. Someone hotwired the dishes together and blew up the system. So we screwed. No, it was sloppy work. Some of the dishes are intact. If I replace them and create a new circuit with no gaps, we could broadcast a signal. Short range only, but it should work. Okay, do it. I'll uh, keep an eye on things here. What was that? I heard her for a moment. Strange. Come here, man. Thank you. My God, that took some effort. My God. All right, is there any other ones? I think we have them. Oh, now I have them all. Hey, Fern, what's up? Lurkin doing adult things. Now for you to watch and enjoy. Well, hello there. Hope you're having a good evening. access it that way so what we want is this one here and then this one to the left of it and that'll complete it
Now, before I leave this room, I need to check over and make sure there's not one of these things, one of these markers in here. This would be a good room to hide one, so. Stay still. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm so good at this game. Man, I called it, didn't I? I found it in the flesh hole. Look at this. Look at this flesh hole. Okay, well, we got that one, didn't we? I had a feeling, man. Something that I can say is when it comes to these collectibles, they are in rather predictive areas. So there is that at least. You can play the game on hardest difficulty and no deaths. Yes, it's the only way to get this uh, hand cannon weapon that I'm using right now, good Christian. It's the only way to get it. That alone is proof of it. But also, I have two videos that I did while streaming um, on my channel that you can watch that playthrough on if you'd like to see it. I complete it on the hardest difficulty without dying in about eight and a half hours. What's up, Iron? U.S. Big. broadcasting on all frequencies to USG Ishimura in response to your SOS. We picked up hey, your escape pod number 47 and are en route to your position. This message will repeat every 30 seconds until you respond. And this puzzle took me a while to finish it because I the thought you couldn't take out the broken arrays. The oh, yeah, that'll definitely... Attention. That creature was inside. Throw a loop. No, 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 no. USM Valor, come in. Come in, Valor. Oh, her signal isn't strong enough. Can we deploy the long-range antenna? No, something's blocking the blast doors over the comms array. The hell? There'll be a manual release over at maintenance. I'll go. Keep trying to reach them. All right, so how many of these markers is that? That should be seven, correct? Eights. It's eights, rather. That's what I meant to say. Eights. So there's four more? Four to go? Okay. We like when they stack. We like that. That's a node. Noted. <laughs> okay, uh, so this tramway or this uh, monorail, whatever you want to call it. It's not a monorail. It's got two rails. But I wouldn't doubt if there's one hidden in here too. Like in like one of these side things. I did see some markers on the wall just then, but I didn't see anything purple and glowy, so. Okay, so we are eight nodes away from having every possible upgrade that I have capable of reaching at this time. There's still two parts to the force gun that we need, two for the contact beam, two for the line gun, one for flamethrower, one for ripper, one for pulse rifle. And I do believe I know exactly where all of these are. They're inside of all of those. Uh, I'm sure there will be one inside a security room or two inside a, a security room. But specifically, we're going to find them in those uh, master override crates that you find throughout the game.
Oh my god, he's cheating. Look at that. Do I need this store? All right, so that's five nodes left until we have all the possible current upgrades done. Yeah, I remembered you. Give me the loot. Give me the loot. It right, wants me to go that way. All oh, right. We're about to go out this door over here. That's right. It's time for a boss fight. But I could just blast it with that and be done with it, but not the way of it. Maybe I can just one shot it as soon as I crack the shell. Yep. That makes it easy. like aim training, man. Bang, 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 bang. God, the recovery time is so long after that. Everyone wave bye. Goodbye. I'll try the antenna's manual release again. Do it. I've got a transmission loaded and ready to go. How's our sound in space? The sounds we're hearing is being transmitted through the metal. And of course, Isaac's gonna hear his own voice because, you know, you hear your own voice in your own head. Exiting zero gravity. 
Even if you cover your ears and talk out loud, you're still going to hear your voice internally. So that's why we're hearing pew pew, bang, bang, bang. What's Baldur's Gate? I'll look up Dragon Age when I arrive. Thanks for the suggestion. Yeah, no problem, Cassandra. Baldur's Gate is an even older RPG that, you know, I will admit the gameplay it has not aged well to modern day expectations, but if you can if you can look beyond it, it does have quality, quality stuff going on with it. It's very good for its time. Yes, finally. USM Valor, this is Kendra Daniels on the USG Ishimura. Do not open the escape pod. Repeat, do not open that escape pod. Do you read? We're too late. The Valor! It's heading right for you! Brace yourself! The cold condition is Singularity core is okay. I could salvage it. Install it on that shuttle. We're fucking out of here. Where's the Valor now? It's near comms. Keep us stable. Isaac, I'll grab a suit and EVA onto the Valor. Meet me there. We'll find that core together. Let's see if we that. I'm saving what I can. Alright, so the Valor we go. Which is interesting because, uh... We're wearing a suit from the Valor, too. We're gonna fit right in, guys. We're gonna belong. We're gonna see all of our brothers and sisters on this ship. Isaac, I'm on board. The Valor's trash, but I can make it to the bridge. The hell was that? <laughs> I'll give you one guess, Hammond. What do you think it was? Huh, a weird noise with all these monsters around. I wonder what that was. carrying a 12 megaton warhead. The crash hit the torpedo bay hard. I need you to handle that nuke right away before something sets it off. Handle 12 megatons? Was it? You know I'm not a nuclear Marge, was it shot down? I Interesting. Don't need you to be. Just stabilize the warhead and eject it away from the Ishimura. Christ, Hammond. No one trained you to carve up monsters with a plasma cutter either. You haven't let us down yet. Know what happens at the end of the game? Yes. This is not my first playthrough, and I played the hell out of the original. Brother. I don't know, there's something satisfying about just one-shotting these guys, though, specifically. must have had stasis units on their armor. When they were turned, those units merged right into their bodies, changed them. They're fucking fast, Isaac. Stay sharp. This is Commander... This is Commander Beep Boop. It's interesting that um, when you stomp on them, that will trigger the stasis thing. Sing it, you. Plug it in, plug it in. The Ishimura's chief science officer. I, I studied the marker for the church. I'm done talking to unitologists. But, but, but the planet won't rest until the marker is returned. You, you can't leave. Watch me. Caution. <laughs> 
He walks in the room. Bang! Come on. I know you're over there. All right, now we need to grab this battery over here. Yeah, that bang was a little more aggressive. That's why it was funny to me. He just walks in, he goes, bang, <laughs> and just yells it. Otter Juan Kenobi, you're trying to spoil a game that originally released in 2008, buddy. And that's how you make me feel. I believe the Clark's foam finger gets its power from the marker as it finds Isaac's delusional fantasy of the mighty might and God finger to be funny. So every time it's fired, the marker disconnects. Maybe. Maybe, man. just on patrol why bring a nuke and if they had a target what's out here except us yeah i know i'm downloading a munitions report right now i'll clear your route to the engine room grab that singularity core and let's get out of here right oh then time to go lads time to go hey Stop that. Hey. It, it, the, the moan that these guys let out is so strange. It, it's kind of eerie. They did a pretty good job with that, actually. I think we got him. All right, wants me to go that way to the infirmary. So we need to do this first. Shooting range online. Caution. Live fire exercise. So even if you do not shoot a blue enemy, they will spawn in these guys anyway. So it looks like if you miss a single red enemy at all, it just kind of sends in the, uh, the artillery here.
Quarantine lockdown disengaged. Error. Shooting range out of service. Please contact maintenance. Nandor, thank you for the five dollars. Josh foam finger banging all the things. Who could ask for a better day? Bang bang, baby. <laughs> Nandor, thank you so much. Thank you for the five bones, man. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you. Playing this controller? Can't be? No, I'm playing with a uh, with a mouse. I'm on PC. Make us whole, Isaac. Make us whole, Isaac. Interesting that there was an extra one in here. That was a random spawn. Is this a mod? No. You get this weapon by beating the game on the hardest difficulty without dying. I know my own fucking corporal. Chen. Coloring also in. with mouse? No. I use controller for that. Look like controller how, Rody? Where's the brute? Show me the brute. What's up, empathetic? Why'd that explode? What just happened there? <laughs> that was weird. This is an elite brute, you can see. Not your regular brute, guys. Not your regular brutes. And it's dead. <laughs> okay. Can you move the brute using Kinesis? Only after it's dead can you move it. There you go. Oh no, you can't move it at all with Kinesis, actually. I thought you could. Anywho. Oh, uh, yeah, that guy's dead. I just love uh, stasising them over the electric traps and just letting them get zapped to death. It's fun. Uh, you, you know, now that I say it out loud, it sounds kind of dark, too. So, you know, I apologize about that. Hey, Mark Smith becoming a member of the channel, by the way. That's awesome. Thank you very much, dude. I hope you enjoy the emotes you can use here. Thank you for supporting my channel in that way. That's huge, dude. Thank you so much. Incredibly generous. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. The Valerie Mission Law. It wasn't just a nuke. They came loaded for war to get destroyed. This was no patrol. They knew about the Ishimura. Someone knew. We were all dead from the moment we arrived. All right. We got this Ruby semiconductor that definitely... Uh... Let's just drop these small heels. 
Who needs them? There we go. <laughs> Magic Master, oh no. <laughs> What's up, Spring? Welcome back. Ah. Ah. All right, well, I didn't think it was going to kill me that quickly, but uh, it did, so. You know, it's fine. Hey, Allie, upgrading your computer so you can run this game? Nice. Yeah, Robin, the lighting is wonderful in this game. It's very good. Hey, what's the deal with the fire extinguisher not putting out the fire, huh? Huh? Also, we have a graphical error happening here, actually, with some of these. Interesting. Hold on, I, for science, does it burn me? Wow, okay, it, maybe, maybe it did suppress the fire in some fashion? Weird. Think of Isaac having a voice? I mean, he has a voice in two and three, so I'm already used to it. Now, what's the deal with some of these fires not actually doing fire things? That's weird, right? It only makes sense for him to have a voice in the remake because he's already voiced in uh, two and three, so. It just makes sense. So if you are playing through this game for the first time, if you want a little tip for this room, after you do get over to this side and you act or you deactivate the fire or you activate the fire suppression system, you will get ambushed by three of these types of necromorphs right here. These two here, and then there's another one on that side. What you can do is just turn it on and then immediately turn it back off. And two of them will die by the fire and then you fight the one that spawns in front of you. And then when it's over, you can turn it back on and never have to worry about the fire again, aside from this engine here, of course. Yeah, I'm pathetic. I just, like, I don't see it as a big deal. I mean, going into this game, I was expecting him to be voiced. It just, I, I just, even, you know, even without them saying, I forgot the singularity core, even without them saying that he was going to be voiced, it was an expectation strictly because it was something that was, he was already voiced in two and three. If they're going to remake the game and build it from the ground up, it only is a, like a natural thing for him to be voiced from there. Unknown biohazard detected. Lockdown initiated. Another malfunction. Athia Shamor is in the red. Someone get the door open. Huh. Shane? Right. What did that thing do to you? Help me get him to the Kelly. Shoot him. Hot shit. Shoot him! What? Shoot him! Shoot him! No. Well, Rerouting power. Him and 
Look, there's just one line. He. Him, it's gone. Him and shit. Oh my god. Also, I have to assume that there's not going to be a marker remnant on the ship here because basically once you get beyond this point, a lot of rooms become inaccessible from my understanding. So I don't think there's one actually on this ship, so I'm not going to worry about it. If I have to backtrack later, then it is what it is. F in the chat for Hammond, please. Thank you. Oh, you know what? There's that guy running down the hallway here. Oh, it's a, it's an actual soldier. I always thought that was a necromorph, but it turns out it's another living guy. Well, he's not going to last. Critical overload. Why F? It's a it's an old meme. Press F to pray, pay respects. Is this other rig available yet? It is. We need to go grab this rig. Tram Supervisor Benson's rig. Tracking it, but I cannot find it. Probably in the tunnels or near tram maintenance. And yet when I do this, it doesn't show the path to it. I can't remember where this one is. Robin, have a good night. I'll see you later. Well, let's track this for now. I can't remember where this last one is, man. T. Moritz, thank you for four months of membership, dude. If Hogwarts doesn't hit, Ghost of Tsushima could be fun. That game is underappreciated, IMO. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it as well, but now is not um, not a good time for it because even if Hogwarts doesn't do well, we still have Wild Hearts and Atomic Hearts coming in the next couple of weeks. That wouldn't really give enough time for a good Ghost of Tsushima playthrough right now. I do have plans on playing through it at some point in the future. I just don't know when. But there's so many new games coming out over the next couple of months, there's just no real time to play something a little bit older right now. Atomic Heart looks so good, it does. It's under the tram before the crew quarters. All right. Not gonna lie, man, your streams are lit. You talk to us, play lit games. And to me, you're hella interesting. Hey, thanks, man. 
I'm glad you enjoy your time here. That's that's all I could ever dream of. That's exactly what my goals are, dude. I'm glad you enjoy your time here. It means a lot. Thank you, dude. Have you not struggled getting through Ghost before? Um, I played Ghost of Tsushima a few different times, and every time I've tried to get through it, uh, something bad happens in real life. I, I, I ended up coining it like a bad omen game. <laughs> I've never actually completed it because of this. But I do want to try to get through it at some point, but I think I'm going to make videos on it at some point. I think it's going to be the way of it. I'll do like a, a videos playthrough, you know what I mean? Uh, executive shuttle. We don't want to go that way yet. Oh, good. Now it's showing. saw a commercial for Hogwarts. Interesting. I got a Josh's stream I watch because he just plays and talks about shit instead of what most streamers do. Well, hey, I'm glad you enjoy your time here, regardless of what goes on in other channels. You know, everyone's got... There it is. Everyone's going to run their own channels their own way. I just... I'm so much about video games that that's all I care about on my channel. It's just video games. I don't want to talk about anything else. We all have our own day-to-day -day lives in which we see everything else going on in the world all the time. You know what I mean? Why bog ourselves down with even more of it when we all have the common ground of enjoying video games? You know? All right, we got to go to the bridge for this, I believe. Hey, Hawkwind, it's going all right, man. Hope you're doing well. What's my favorite horror game? Uh, Dead Space. That would be Dead Space. played Shadow of Mordor? I have. Shadow of Mordor and Shadow of War are both excellent games. <laughs> oh no, Richard. Master security override generated for Isaac And there we go. All access will be locked. Same but the original camp and opinion on the remake yet is I haven't I haven't played it. That's fair. That's fair. I, I, I just like, I like this so much because it does everything that the original Dead Space does, but it rebalances and improves upon things that were not so great. So it's just basically, they put together graphically how I pictured it in my mind. When I think of Dead Space, it's almost identical to this remake. It's, it's like, they took the idea of rose-colored glasses and put it in a graphical format. Like, it's that good graphically it's it's excellent and then um from there it's just that they they rebalanced weapons to make them more effective like the flamethrower for example is the biggest shining example of this the flamethrower in the original game was terrible to put it to put it lightly it was awful and not really something worth using but in this in the remake it made it so it's actually good it's actually worth your worth your efforts and leveling up and everything. It's nice. It's 
side quest time. We just finished the one side quest that I do care about. Getting the uh, master override so that way I can grab all the uh, the override containers and stuff. Now what I'm looking to do is just complete the game on New Game Plus and... Uh, words complete the game on new game plus and try to get the secret ending all right what one did we not finish was it the force gun all right we still have to find the rest of these upgrades but i'm fairly certain i know where all of them are Ooh, that weird lag on that door. Isaac, I'm losing you. Something on the crew deck must be interfering with the signal. I can guess what that something is. If the marker's active, shit. The crew deck is locked down, but the deck supervisor might have an override key. The last location I have for her is the gym. How long will it take to install the singularity core on that shuttle? Not long, if no one tries to stop me. Hurry, we can't leave the marker in their hands. Yeah, it was just the door that had frame drops. It was weird. All right, it's time for space basketball. Basketball is my favorite sport. I love the way they dribble up and down the court. Showers, go. You get the Entry finger. This guy gets it. Hey, Algernon, what's up? Thoughts on using weird controllers like dance pads and such? Uh, I don't know. I don't really find it interesting. I know it's a pretty common theme in Elden Ring right now. Like, a lot of people are using, like, kids controllers and dance pads and guitars and shit, but... I gotta be honest with you, I don't find any any of that interesting at all. <laughs> don't get me wrong, it's like it's impressive to a certain point, right? Like using a controller or something as a controller that's not your standard. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. Like, if they, if they find it fun and a challenge that they want to pursue, that's cool. I just don't really see the interest level after, like, five minutes. <laughs> that's all.
high score mode. What does that mean? Did we break it? As we're catching up on stream last night, expecting the hand cannon to look like a Carnifex from Mass Effect 2. <laughs> but then it's a foam finger and he says bang bang and pew pew. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh. Look at that, over 300 points. 315 points. That's my highest score yet, guys. That's my highest score yet. Exiting zero gravity. Look at that. Ruby semiconductor and a node. And a node. You got 320 points yesterday, first try? I believe you. I believe you so much right now. Let's make a quick save here. This save I'm going to do on a different slot because I'm going to be referring back to this for other achievements later on. Okay, we are in chapter 10, which I mean, I do believe this is the final chapter we'll find, based on what someone said yesterday, uh, the final chapter in which we can find the markers. So how many do we have? Eight. So I definitely have to backtrack in order to get the other markers. markers are there 12 all right here is this which thinking about it that's um that last room with all the people laying around there might be a marker in there somewhere what kind of makes sense if there was so i need to investigate that room more thoroughly oh well, let me also look in here too I didn't even think to look around in here for one. I'm not seeing one in here. What happens if you get all the markers? You can get a secret ending. <laughs> the armor actually blocks the shots. That's interesting. If you hit the armor, it just bounces off. So we have a big marker right here. Uh, 
Oh, is there really no marker fragment in this room? I guess not. Unless it's upstairs. Or below the stairs. <laughs> Vector, I see you, dude. I'm sorry, it's not as interesting, man. Hey, Mom, do. Uh, no, Sensei. I'm going to continue looking around, and if I happen to not find them by the end of this chapter, then I'll just backtrack and look for them. What is convergence? But you already know. Dead or living, we all feel the markers to purpose. Don't you want to be reunited with the people you lost? I. Then why not it me? Mr. Temple has refused, but we are so close. Everything that has happened on the Shimura is just the beginning. When you put it that way, you and your marker can go to hell. Just kind of casually picking up all the items in the room, you know? Everything's fine. Talking about hitting the bar and stuff, man. But you're on it, right, Isaac? Everything's gonna be just like it was. Yeah, man, everything's cool. Everything's cool, man. I believe this door down here is locked. Yep. Sure is, bud. We have a bar on the ship. Yep, it's this room right here. We got two of these moaner guys down here. Just now realized you have a foam finger gun. <laughs>
wonder what Mercer must think seeing a guy running around with a foam finger destroying imagine it's another Isaac's hallucinations and he's actually being doom guy <laughs> this whole time keyboard and mouse mozzie Did we get everything? I guess I did get everything. I thought I still had a few more to go. Oh, well, we still need to collect nodes anyway, so it's fine. Speaking of nodes... Bang, 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 bang. Yeah, the janitor, um, I think the janitor was the first to go, if I'm being honest with you, based on the shape of the ship right now. I just heard... Ah, oh, there you are. I knew I heard it. Grab all this stuff. Another node. Thank you. Now, if I did it right, he should be stuck in that room for a good while. I don't remember where this damn battery goes. I want to say over here. I cannot remember. No, definitely not down here. Let's we'll leave it right there for now. The mess hall. Oh, you know what? I know where it goes. Hold on. I know where it goes. Picturing it all in my mind, you know? Yeah, Spiff and Goose, it's for uh, the perspective of others, for sure. Um, 
knowing how it is the future, they probably have all these displays like inside the helmets. That would be my guess. They probably have a heads up display inside the helmet itself. Displayed holographically just like the videos. Just like the video feed. Right, hold up. I think I missed something. What's up, Stam? How you doing? Let me look at the map really quick. Shuttle bay controls, shuttle bay, crew quarters, central nexus. game is like a better Callisto Protocol. This game came out long before Callisto Protocol was even thought of. The original came out in 2008. Yeah, I, I didn't need to change floor there. I was just looking at the layout on that floor. I, I just used that elevator and the power was dead again. That's kind of annoying. In fact, he says that though shows how bad Callisto was. <laughs> I guess the hollow what I mean is in its current formats. All right, standard quarters. This is also standard quarters. I don't know. I thought there was another room down here for some reason, but I don't know why I'm thinking that. That's the storage room. That's where we killed the uh, thing. This is back to the mess hall. Okay, yeah. I think it's just because there's another room that looks like this that we encounter a little bit later. This room is all fleshy, man. It's all fleshy. All right, deluxe quarters right here. Yeah, this is the room I was thinking of right here. You know what? 
There's this room right here that has all the, uh, like all the dismembered body parts in there. I bet you there's a marker in there. I bet you. Maybe in here? Maybe it's in here. Uh, there's a battery there. Oh, hey, they changed the color of them. Now they're like bluish. Weird. No, is there really not a marker fragment in here? Man, this if I had to guess any room at this point in the game, it would be this one. Wow. Okay, I guess not. I was really expecting it to be in this one. Well, all right then. Okay then. There's the deluxe quiet bunk. How's she doing? She's dead, Nicole. They both are. She killed my dad, then herself. Oh. Yeah. The church. They uh, took the bodies before I could. Uh... Oh my God. Oh Isaac, I'm. Sorry. Fucking you told you stop washing. Stop it. Just stop talking. You said she was herself again. You said she would be better at home. I trusted you. God. You might as well have killed him yourself. But she was better. You told me to leave for the Ishimura. You, you pushed me to... You know what? This has lore? Oh, absolutely. Nicole! Nicole! I didn't... Oh, God. No. Not her, too. Isaac. I do wish, though, um, that these moments were skippable as well. Ultimately, not, not a big deal, but uh, I kind of... Oh! Fucking door just hit me. Man, there's a force gun upgrade. Um... There's markers written on the wall there, but I don't see a marker fragment in here. I 
can't move it at all. Is it recording? Hmm. Can't miss anything. Cruelty. Yeah, someone will make a mod to skip them, I'm sure, yeah. No related rigor activity has been logged. Deluxe bathrooms. Oh my god, it's so deluxe in here. me out that there's not one in here like how is there not how is there not a marker in this room like that really weirds me out this is a prime room for it hmm. is what it is if it's not there it's not there man Like, that's one of the creepiest rooms in the entire game, you know? It's just, it really shocks me that there's not one there. It would just fit. There's our flamethrower upgrade. There's one in this room? Okay, game. I mean, all right, whatever. At least we got it. <laughs> it makes sense because of the writing here and stuff too. It's just, there's two other areas here. I, mean, I know it's towards the end of the game at this point. So it's like, technically it all makes sense, but this room specifically out of all the rooms up here, I don't know, man. I don't know, dude. I. Thematically, I just don't agree. Oh, well. Can't win them all, chat. You know, um, I can't help but feel that these burgers here are also a reference to another game. And the reason I say this is because it's something that it really stood out in the game at the time. Battlefield Hardline. Battlefield Hardline was made by Visceral Studios. Visceral is the same studio that made the original Dead Space game. They made the first three Dead Space games, I should say. And the burger, I don't know why, but I feel like the burgers in that game looked a lot like this. And I feel like it's a reference to it. Because it's Visceral, and Battlefield Hardline was made by Visceral, as well as the, the original Dead Space games. Maybe I'm reading far too in, or too far into that, but yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Screamer, I love it, dude. I got some shit for you to change. Nope, I need... I need... Alright, 18 nodes.
Executive quarters. Oh, you know what? I wonder if there's one up here too. Another marker fragments, maybe? Oh, this is where we turn them in. At least I think. It is! Yes, okay, perfect. So there's three more that we have to get. You see how the, the fragments just went in there? We have to get three more, guys. Three more. Man, it's, it, it, it's just so cool figuring stuff like this out. I love it. I didn't mean to heal there, but it's fine. The executive bathrooms. So I just got a semiconductor out of that one. I think that's where we find um, the last upgrade for maybe the plasma cutter. I, I don't remember. But it just gave me a semiconductor instead in there instead of a weapon upgrade. What's the music happening? What, is, what was that? All right, so it looks like there was no marker fragment in here. This would be a good area for it too, but. Missed enemies in the bathroom. Oh, that's why that music was playing then. It's those little guys, isn't it? Yep. The only time you hear this specific music is when these guys are around. Oh, their hitbox is so strange. Hey, Elliot, what's up? And binge watching all of your playthroughs so far, watching with my five year old right now. Thanks for the great gameplay. Hey, thank you for being here for it. That's really cool. Give me this. Give me that. We need three more markers. Hi, I'm, I'm Dr. Hey. Terrence Kine. Remember we spoke on the valley. Sure. Yes, hi, hello. Let me in. I need to destroy that cluster behind you. Not yet, but if, escape on that shuttle and you'll kill us all. Ritzoga, have a good weekend as well, man. It woke the being in the core of the planet. Uh, 
the hell is that? Mercer calls it the hive mind. The Nexus organism which controls these necromorphs telepathically. Hey, Gara. If we leave while well, the hive mind is... Guys, thank you for 350 oh, likes on the video. I appreciate it. If even a single necromorph escapes, humanity is finished. The marker. Amelia, she knew. She told me it would return the beast to its owner. Okay. So if we return the marker, we need to find a bench. That's for sure. Exactly. But we need the shuttle to return it to the planet. You have a singularity core, and I can let you through. So what do you say? If it'll end this for good, deal. Excellent. I, I, I can distract Mercer, but not for long. And get the marker to the shuttle bay quickly. <laughs> Go cry. Thanks for hanging out with us, dude. For helping me fix my mistakes. Yeah. Go on then. Let me in. Really? Okay, so there's two left then. We just got we just got another one. Nice. Love how they were hiding that one behind the bottle of wine. Isn't that something? All right, flamethrower is complete. Two markers to go. Yep, yeah, two markers left. I believe we're at the point in the game now where we might have to backtrack for some. We're at the point where we've already found the table to turn them in, which makes me fear that we need to go backwards instead of more forward, if that makes sense, just so that way... I just don't think there's going to be any more moving forward. And then again, we just did find that one there, too, to be fair. I still think we should backtrack. How many markers do we have? We have 10 out of 12. All right, guys, before we continue on, I have to pee so bad, so I'm going to do that really quick, okay? When I come back, we're going to backtrack and see if we can find these other two markers. I don't really know where to find them, so I'm just going to, uh, I'm just going to look up their locations just so we don't miss them, okay? Just so we don't miss them. I will be right back. If you haven't left a like on the video already, make sure you do, and I'll see you in just a minute.
All right, guys, I'm back. Let's uh, let's do this. Would you like a chicken sandwich? You know what? Chicken sandwich sounds great, Vanessa. Sounds great. I am actually pretty dang hungry. Quarantine lifted. Come from the UK, so it'll be a while. All right. I'll expect it to not be so great when it gets here, but that's fine. All right, we need to head back to the trams. No side missions available. Uh, trams, 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 trams. Let's go here and see what we see. This is what we want. I got one, Urban. Thank you, though. All right, let's see where these locations are, guys. We only need to find two, but we're going to run through all the locations. Maintenance bay office, hangar, cargo, tram control. Oh, I saw some cookies and my brother ate them all. Yeah, I know that life. I know that. Yeah, you know what? I, I, I know I have this one based on this photo I'm seeing. That one, that was the first one that we found. Uh, so let's go to this next one. Dr. Kind's office in medical. Medical. It's in the research lab where Isaac initially heads to the track down to the hydrazine bomb. Now arriving at medical. I wouldn't doubt if I have this one already too, but... Is it, no, you know what? I know I... I can't remember if I grabbed this one. Does anyone remember? I know I got it in my previous playthrough on impossible, but then it had to revert to hard because I got killed by that insta kill mechanic. So I don't know if I grabbed that one again. I assume I did. Let's just assume I did. Because that's, that's the one behind the bookcase. The other one is in Mercer's office in medical. I remember grabbing that one. Cryogenic lab. I remember grabbing that one. The East Grow, tr grow Chamber and hy Hydroponics. I remember grabbing that one. That was the first one we found today, I think. All right, this one is in the engine room and engineering. This one doesn't look familiar. What about the flesh hole? I see you. Stand by. What are you doing? We're getting the last two marker fragments needed to get the secret ending for Dead Space New Game Plus. Now arriving at mining engineering. 
Check station when departing. All right, the engine room in engineering. Control stations, centrifuge, this asshole, preparation room. Let's look at the map. Fuel storage. Bathroom machine shop, calibration room. Floor three. Engine room right there. Okay, there's this here, down this long ass path. Where am I now? This way. This way. Didn't realize there was a map till now. It's weird to navigate because it has multiple floors, but it is pretty useful to help find stuff like this. Yeah, if you could place markers, that would be freaking glorious, dude. How long does it complete to take you to complete dead space? Um, wow, there's one in this room this whole time. All right. Um. I'm going to look, we'll see if I can just kind of find it normally without actually seeing the exact location. If it takes me more than a minute or two, then I'll just look. Oh, there's a power note here I missed too. Shit, man. Okay. Well, if I'm missing power nodes, then it makes sense that I would miss this item as well. Hey, Bren, hope you're having a great weekend too, dude. Pretty sure I hear a monster. Man, the audio in this game is too damn good. Is it the back here? It is back here. Man, I didn't check this area. It's crazy because there's actually a necromorph that comes out of this after you activate, uh, after you plug in the battery and the engines start up, there's a necromorph that pops up out of this. I walked over here, I shot it, but I never actually cleared the corner to see it. Damn, dude. It's crazy to think, like, if I had just taken two more steps, I would have seen it. That's ridiculous. Ridiculous and also cool. What's up, Majin Kai? Awesome, is the stream still going? Yeah, I had to step out and grab some grub for the bunchies. Hey, thanks for tuning back in, man. Shut up. <laughs> Alright, cargo lifts. We need... Tram. Let's see if I can identify this last one. Um, mineral samples in mining. There's one on a shelf here in mineral samples. We are right here. I don't recall grabbing this one, so I'm going to go look. Mineral samples. Oh, 
Oh, did I actually get this room yet? I didn't. We're, we'll get that while we're here. Contact beam upgrade. There's our shark friend. Oh, hold on. While we're here next to this bench, let's use it. Yeah, there's still one more upgrade for that. Two more for the line gun. I remember where one is earlier in the game as well, where we found the Ripper. So I need to go look at that. And I know there's a couple more of those containers further in the story, too. Um, processing, mining, or maintenance. Mineral samples? Let me look at this. Hold on. Processing right on. Now oh, the end. I hope you have a good time when you get it, man. Processing makes sense. Processing does make sense. Let's see. Let's look at the map while we're... There's a locked door right there. I forgot about this room. I wonder if this is it. Hey, contact energy. No, it's not this room. I know, Richard. I know. I know. I got this. Ah, mineral processing. Mineral processing. Uh, that's the shortcut way. I want to go this way. Mineral samples. There it is. I did get this one. It was next to this. I did grab this one. I remember it was next to the T-Rex. So we did grab that one. All right, so let's look at... This one says communications array, the bridge. Oh, I know I got that one. That was the one that was in uh, the aptly named flesh hole. Yes, very good. Um, this one is in the break room in the bridge. Uh, the break room on the bridge. That's the one with the, uh, like the ritual circle. Did I go in there? Did I go in there? 
<laughs> Dale, thanks for joining us, man. <laughs> I knew Iron would say something. <laughs> When you looked at the map, you had a couple rooms in the engineering section that you had not unlocked. Yeah, yeah. I did see those too, but there might be power nodes in there and maybe some uh some weapon upgrades, but I'm not worried about those so much right now as I am making sure I get this ending. The bridge break room. I don't know if I went in there. I'm trying to think and I'm just drawing a blank on it. Have you seen the bridge? Nope, never seen it. How's that finger shooting? It's a, uh, it's called the hand cannon. It's a bit of a meme gun. It goes bang, bang. Yeah, it goes bang, bang, pew, pew. That's how it shoots. <laughs> All right, here we are at the bridge. We need to find the break room. Let's take a look at the map, shall we? Bridge, bridge, bridge. There's a door there. Oh, well, it's not what I want. Oh, wrong button. Main atrium. Storage room. Security room. Water purification, purification storage. Um, we might want to go check that out. It looks like it's like a security access thing. What is this? Oh, that's the um, ADS cannon area. That's where that is. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. I recognize that. Atrium escape pod. Captain nest. Yes. Records office. Storage room. Mining and admin. Coolant monitoring. Monitoring. Admin server maintenance. Main fuses, electrical, oh, break room right there. Electrical system storage. Okay, so there's our break room. It's all the way down to floor one. This game of futuristic weapons? Yes. Maybe I already have it. Maybe. Still gonna look. We are right here. May as well do it. Right, we want the other elevator. Snacks in the break room? I hope so. I'm hungry. Nope, not the one I wanted. Damn it. Of my sandwich in the break room fridge. Keep your damn hands off it. All right, someone write this down. Eat Screamer's sandwich.
What's this game about? It's a horror game. You play as an engineer that uh, gets called out to a ship called the Ishimura to investigate why the ship is not uh, working properly. You know, there's a distress signal that goes out and all that. So you get here and you find shit hits the fan. Um, floor three. I feel like that's going not where I want it to. And Eric expressed some spaghetti, but it'd be cold by the time he gets there. I appreciate the thought. All right, where am I? Yeah, this is where I want to be. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I did grab it because I remember it be, like being like right there. Okay. So if I have that one, then cargo bay, hangar, cargo tram control, the cargo bay and the hangar. You know what? Uh, we go to the cargo bay in the next chapter because we have to load the tram. Or I'm sorry, the uh, the ship with the marker. So maybe I just continue the main story. Yeah, let me just go. Yeah, we, we have to go get the marker onto the ship. So let's just go do that. We're going to be in that very room anyway. I, I, I have to believe that I got that, though. I mean, did I did I not open up that cargo bay? I feel like I did. Though there's going to be that ruby semiconductor in there anyway, so we can go there and grab it, too. Unless there's a different cargo bay. Maybe. I don't know. Ah, Dustin, I'm really sorry to hear that, man. But I'm glad that you you yourself are okay. That's the important part here, right? You yourself are okay. The car might not be, but ultimately you are, and that's what counts. I'm happy about that part. There's one in Chapter 11. Yeah, it... It looks like you can get it way earlier in the game, too, but if it happens to not be there, then I am at a complete loss as to which one I don't have. Which is a bit of a problem. Why is this taking me the long way? This is weird. No new upgrades. I don't know what I'm doing here. Want ravioli? I could deliver hundreds of kilos if you'd like. Maybe spoiled before they get to you, though. Anna, what kind of stuff do you guys put in your raviolis? I don't know. I, the reason I ask is because here in the States, or at least, you know, where I grew up in New York, um, there's a few different, like, fillings that people would have for them. Like, some cheese, like, different types of cheeses. And then some do, like, ground beef. I've seen some do, like, some weird stuff with pork.
Yeah, some with sausage and portobello, yeah. Now install the simulator core on the shuttle. Pork and ravioli. Here it's mostly cheese and beef. In the States, people get really like experimental with uh with stuff like that. Um Okay, so maybe I'm just not thinking of the same room. You can put anything in it ultimately, yeah. yeah this isn't the room I'm thinking of. Okay. Neighbors are lighting off fireworks, guys. So if you happen to hear loud bangs, that's why. Chapter am I on now? I believe this is chapter 10. Yeah, chapter 10 still. Okay, so yeah, it is the other room that I'm thinking of. This is not the room. I'm so, I'm just like so anxious about missing this that I'm just like overthinking it. Do with different outfits? Yes, several of them. Josh face cam please no I don't use face cam buddy if you want to see what I look like you can uh, go check out my Instagram Is he saying bang? Yes. Make us whole. Bye, Mercer. No F for Mercer. Maybe a ha ha or a he he, but not F. Do you read me? No. Mr. Clark. I don't read you. Mr. Clark, come no. in. Fuck this ship. You're alive. Altman B. Fuck Altman too. Kendra? I'm here. But every alert on the Ishimura is screaming. Critical damage to internal systems. The marker just ripped right through the ship. Something pulled it down to the cargo bay. Kind, pilot the shuttle to the hangar. I'm going after the marker. Of course. Amelia, quickly. Wait, Dr. Kine. That guy's lost it. He killed the captain. We can't trust him near the marker. He says returning it to the planet is the only way to end this. We've got to try. I'm heading to cargo. You ping Nicole's rig and tell her where to go. Leave it to me. Thanks. When I get the marker, we're all getting out of here. I 
Alternate solutions. Alternate solutions. <laughs> Laura, there you go. Mr. Clark, we're approaching the hangar bay. We'll meet you there with the Now, I don't know about you guys, but every time this guy says Amelia, I think of... Oh, I don't remember the name of the movie, but it's got Will Ferrell in it. Um, and him and his brother are always like partying and stuff. And they're trying to get their lives together. And he's telling that story. And who but Emilio Estevez? Emilio! Oh, what's the name of that damn movie, dude? Night of the Roxbury. Yes, perfect. Emilio! And yes, it might work, but hurry. We're losing critical systems fast. Classic movie. Ridiculous, over the top, stupid, but man, classic. So, you want to make out? <laughs> What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more. What's up, Mel? When in doubt, just spam. Just spam it. Excuse me? Did I hit that shot? No, I didn't. Ah, Peng. Everyone wants Peng. Why am I going this way? Actually, I just thought. I just kind of got carried away talking about Emilio Estevez. Why am I going this way, champ? Whoa, Majin Kai. <laughs> yes, getting my cardio. All right, this way. Cargo B. Cargo B. This is the room. What's up, big head? trying to stay warm you oh well you know just trying to get the secret ending in this game just trying to get the secret ending bang Nice. All right, I'm leaving. How many left? That was the final one right there. Mm -hmm. 
so um originally when i was thinking of cargo bay i was thinking of like the uh the hangar i was mixing these things up we will end up in that room again as well so we'll still get the ruby semiconductor but this is the room previous to that now we just got to place them yes force gun All right, force gun is now maxed out. There's a secret marker fragment in Kaelid. Damn, it's a long way to go. Sorry. All right, that's the tram repair room. We need the actual tram. That's a bathroom. We don't need that. Flight deck tram station. What are you doing there? Okay, uh, where was this thing? Guys, I don't remember. Was it crew quarters? It's crew quarters, right? Alright guys, do me a favor, if you haven't already, hit the like button for the secret ending for Dead Space Remake. Now arriving at the crew deck. Um... This way... Hey, Acacia, how you doing? Central Nexus Zero G Gym. Hey. This game gives you anxiety. <laughs> it plays pretty well on that with like the audio and the lighting, you know, just the overall story. Let me take a look here. Mess hall. Shuttle bay, shuttle bay controls. Executive quarters. See how that thing was there and then it just like disappeared? This is not the way. Yeah, this is a dead end. This is the maintenance hall. I want I need to go the other side. That's what I need. I got it backwards in my mind. Stop existing. Thank you. That's deluxe. if we can get through a stream without hearing the Doug theme in your dreams okay in your absolute dreams
make us whole, Isaac. You will know, you will see like we see you. Interesting. Okay, so I guess we just beat the game from here. We're good to go, guys. And what I'm going to do is uh, the next save station I find, I'm going to use it because I need to make sure that I have a separate save in order to make sure I get the rest of the upgrades in a single playthrough. Uh, but that is something that I'll do off stream. I'm not going to make you guys watch that too. My brother was humming the Doug theme song yesterday. I almost didn't catch it because I'm so used to hearing Josh do it. What is the Doug theme song? Uh, Doug is an old animated television show on Nickelodeon. Um, I'm not sure if it's still... I don't think it's on air now, is it? I can't imagine it is. At least not on basic television. Do you have to beat impossible mode to get the foam finger? Yes. Impossible mode without dying. Which is the whole definition of impossible mode, but yeah. Redneck, maybe the five dollars. Thanks for the excellent content and good times, Josh. I'm gonna take off so I don't see the secret ending. I wanna get it for my playthrough. Night folks. Redneck, have a good night, man. I'll see you later. Thanks for chilling today. I appreciate your company. I need a save station. Danger. Containment fields approaching maximum capacity. Maximum? That dug the like ugly cartoons. No one call them ugly. They certainly fit the narrative of the era, though. It just kind of made sense for the time. Nowadays, they have these very weird 3D rendered cartoons. If you think that's better, then I don't think that uh, we should be having conversations about it because we are going to differ in our opinions in a big way. <laughs> if you think modern cartoons look better than cartoons back then, then you're whack. Josh's voice, true. Did I really just get gang banged by these tentacles? Is that what just happened? Go oh, away. What is this? Thank <laughs> you. 
Go away! Dan it dan. Wasn't being spiteful. Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know. I don't think you have a mean bone in your body. I don't expect you to anyway. Remember Skeeter? Hell yeah, man. Skeeter was boss. Yes, we'll be there. Can you make it to the airlock alone? No movement on the cameras. I'm just gonna run for it. Wish me luck. Here, bang and tentacles in the same sentence? You sure did. You sure did. Cat dog was weird but good. Yeah, I, I mean, I liked it enough. I wasn't crazy about it, but I liked it enough. How did I miss? Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Bang! Bang! A bang! Hoggett? Hoggett's my brother. On the monitor, he's right by the airlock. Don't let this place get to you. Kendra? We're out of time! I... He's not there. I can make it if I run. Run, Daniels! Run! This here. Oh, damn it. Never mind. Cancel that conversation. Voltron and He Man were your favorites? I saw them a little bit, but they were not really shown too much um, when I was younger. They were mostly on like super, super early in the morning. I will say, though, my favorite animated thing ever growing up was a show called Zoids. It actually had two different shows to it, one where it followed like um like a political conflict and then another that was more around the conflict of a specific kid and both i enjoyed a lot that was my favorite animated thing growing up i guess technically it would be considered anime because i think it was a japanese production it had that anime style to it Dude, give me the items. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, hold on. I need... Damn, where's a safe station around here? Is that camera a safe station? I don't know the actual logos here. It is good. All right, we're gonna make this save. Um, here. There, the chapter eleven save is my alternate save. Ah, real monsters. That's one, yeah. Wait, I'm on the wrong track. Hold up. Isaac, we can't work the automated loading control. Must be the damage to the ship. We're losing time. The hive mind is down there. Kai, relax. I'll turn off the gravity in the hangar, and I can load the marker by hand. All right. No, don't worry, Amelia. They understand. Jeez. Never watched Fraggle Rock. I don't think I've ever seen on anything on it, oddly enough. I've heard people mention it. 
Yeah, uh, this this is the hangar door that I was thinking of earlier on, by the way. Uh, the, I, I was thinking of this as the cargo bay. I don't know why. Kung Fu? I don't think I've ever seen it. Captain Planet? Yeah, I saw a little bit of that when I was real young. weird how they get like this random immunity for a while what's the red stuff um like the red barrels out there that is the uh they're explosive barrels But again, you have to keep in mind as well that I watched a very few select things and then like pretty much everything else, I just, that was video game time. <laughs> Little hiccup there, that's all right. marker in some crater on earth that one that was real alien enough to inspire unitology our people studied it and reverse engineered this red marker but they needed somewhere to test it Aegis seven you've seen the result the stuff of nightmares i thought the old reports were just hysteria until i saw what I saw. They sealed off the whole system, buried the records nice and clean. Until CEC got greedy. Those idiots tore each of seven apart and woke up with the old research team left behind. So Earth Gulf sent you to sweep it all under the rug. Damn it, we have to return the marker. If anyone else stumbles across each of seven. It was disappeared once. We can do it again. I've seen how the marker fucks with your head. It must be contained. For what it's worth, we made a great team. You'll find another way off the Ishimura. I mean, 
You're one hell of an engineer. Your experiment's gonna kill us all! Daniels! Damn it, Daniels! Get back here, Daniels! She can't take the marker. She doesn't understand. Isaac, come in. It's Nicole. Where are you? In the flight control room. Please, you have to come up here now. There's still a way out for us, but we don't have much time. Yes, there was a small hiccup, and uh, we're back. It's fine. We're good. As great as the internet here is, sometimes things do blip out once in a while. I'm sorry I'm not perfect, Jet. <laughs> I'm sorry. There you are. Ah, yes, hello. It me. It me, your number one fan. Number one, see? Can you see it? What happened with us? Can you see it all? <laughs> the light's very bright. shuttle and remote pilot from here bring back the marker and we can return it to Aegis 7 oh yeah we can make this whole again I just want to make things right and let's do it together recalling shuttle USG 09 prepping remote docking procedures you don't know what you're doing. I know you don't understand the marker like I do. You fucking kidding me. I wasn't blaming you? Oh, I, it's okay, Suzanne. I know you hate my guts after that. It's okay. I understand. I'm sorry. Hey. You. Damn. You there. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You. She can't escape her fate. But who can? Pull my finger. Pull it. Right, she's fed up with me. She's had enough of my shit. I know. Ishimura's finished. If we get on that show, there's no going back. I'd be fed up with you too. <laughs> Emergency. All personnel proceed to your designated safe zone immediately. Everyone get to their safe zones. Okay, we got all 12 things. We're good to go. We are good to go. <clears throat> I never doubted you, Isaac. I knew you'd come back. Are you ready? Yes. We're together again. No. 
There's nothing to fear. You've come so far. This all began in the core of the planet. Daniel said EarthGov built the marker. Some experiment they abandoned hundreds of years ago. If you're not ready, a miracle must be as terrifying as a nightmare. The planet is restless, hungry. It'll try to eat us alive. But we have the marker. We'll put things back the way they were. We will be whole again. Can I get a make us whole in the chat? Make us whole. Make us whole, Isaac. Make us whole. All right, you guys don't understand the rules here. First thing first, we hop off the ship. We immediately run to the right, pass Nicole. Goodbye. See you later. We're going all the way down here because the most important item in the game is here. Well, not the single most important item, but one of many. Power nodes. Very good. Very good. <laughs> Join the necromorphs together as family. Together we will devour the very humans. That's a big rock. We don't have long for all that rock falls. How do we do this? We return the marker to its pedestal. The loading track leads directly to the excavation site. Uh-huh. It'll work. The hive mind will open. We'll be home again. You keep saying that. We need to hurry. The marker signal changes us. We combine them. But there's a dead space in that signal. Around the marker itself. The eye of the storm. I've seen it. this pedestal. Why there? It amplifies. The marker's pulse will be felt across the planet. The dead will sleep. And the living will see what can be forgotten. Watching Popeye, Tom and Jerry, Looney Tunes, Three Stooges, Johnny Soko? Oh, Solo. Johnny Solo. Um, I've seen a little bit of Popeye, a shitload of Tom and Jerry, tons of Looney Tunes. Didn't really watch the Three Stooges. And then Johnny Solo, I didn't watch either. Wait. How did you die in impossible mode with the? F How did you die on impossible mode with the finger gun? I'm not sure what you mean, Dale. I didn't die on impossible mode. Oh, you're. I yeah, know. You know what? I did die in impossible mode, but it was new game plus. Um, there's several points in the game that have insta kill mechanics, and that's where I died. There's a room where you have to activate these. Uh, 
these spinning things. And one of them killed me. In my first playthrough, I didn't die. In New Game Plus, I died because of that. What do you think? The marker saw there's several moments in the game where you can basically get killed instantly, no matter what weapons you have going on, no matter how much health you have, and that's one of them. There's another very important item in here. Very good, make sure you grab it. The nodes. The nodes. He didn't save, I didn't need to. I've got the one save that I'll be referring to when I'm going for the other achievements, but I don't need uh, any more saves from here on out. We are good to go. What's up, High Samurai? Johnny Sako, Speed Racer. What about HR Puff and stuff? Is that a euphemism for marijuana? I don't think I've ever heard of that in my life. <laughs> Will I be streaming Hogwarts Legacy? Yes. On the 7th. Emergency elevator offline. Notifying maintenance. Power restored to West Generator. Out of the way. Oh, wait, I grabbed the battery somehow. That's cool, too. Believe it or not, it's a show? Really? I've never heard of that before. Power Generator. He's too young? I mean, I'm 35. Is it older than that? Power restored to East Generator. Power restored to Tether Generators. Ready for restart. Restarting Tether. Now entering zero gravity. Devon Isaac. Power is slowing again. Come back to the marker quickly. The excavation site's just up ahead. It was 1970s, late 60s, early 70s? Gotcha. Okay, that makes sense. Even wife knows? I mean, listen, I have never claimed to be a professor of anything television. I say it on repeat, man. I did not watch a whole lot of television in my life. I was too busy playing video games, dude. The only time I watched TV at all was when I was at a friend's house or if it was before school early, early in the morning, or if it was happened to be on TV when I walked inside the house after coming home from school or a friend's house. Outside of that, if I was using a television, man, it was video game time. I 
I could like growing up if I if I was watching TV I was actually kind of irritated because I wanted to play video games <laughs> Dead space, it's awesome, dude. Shit, sick. We call that move the tri finger butthole. Any Elden Ring fans? <laughs> I'm going for uh, all the achievements, High Samurai, yeah, on Steam. I go for all the achievements out of games that I really enjoy on Steam. Right now working on completing New Game Plus as well as the secret ending. I don't know if the secret ending is actually an achievement or not. I can't recall. It might not be, but either way, uh, New Game Plus playthrough is an achievement. So that's the main one here. Elden Ring, never heard of it same dude i didn't hear of it until you know someone someone mentioned that it was like you know this this up and coming game from this up and coming small indie studio called from software i decided to check it out it's an okay game you know it it, 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 it does okay it's all right Doing all right, Jun Ling. How are you? Of course, Sintek. Yeah, it looks like Nightbot is uh, suffering from some injuries sustained during the stream today. What's really interesting is when you shoot the marker, no, you, nothing shows up. You see how there's sparks here and like there's holes in the wall there. When you shoot the marker, nothing of the such happens. Your theory has some weight to it, man. Richard, your theory has some weight to it. Oh, hold on. 
Oh no, never mind. That's a that's a wall right there. That's marking, not the marker itself. Get the marker to the pedestal. Hurry! Hurry, Isaac Quark! Hey, Dustin, I appreciate you being here, man. I know you had a bit of a rough day, but the fact that you still came by to hang out with me means a hell of a lot, dude. Whole Isaac. Spellbound, they give the two dollars. Leave a like so Nightbot don't people leave again. There, now reunite with the pedestal. They give you the two. And yes, thank you for leaving a like on the video, guys. What's up, Boriqua Damas? Glad I caught some of the stream, Daddy Duty. Hey, it's good to have you here, man. Thanks for making some time for us. When is the end? It's happening here in the next few minutes. Oh, the fact that the hand cannon sounds like it's coming from Isaac? It is. He's making the he's making the uh the noises himself. Pew, pew, pew. Yeah, he, he's very gone at this point, exactly. We're whole again. We are Why would you do that? Huh? You see the tethers exploding out there in the distance? Yep, there it goes. Tether go pop. Pop, pop, pop. Hold my finger. Let who go? Can't you see how delusional you are? We've got to go. The payload from the planet crack is about to fall. I gave you a chance to come around, Isaac. But if you still won't see it, I'll help you. One last time. Rig link override. This time, watch to the end. Isaac, it's me. Oh, I wish I could talk to you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about everything. I just wish I could talk to someone. It's all falling apart here. I can't believe what's happening. It's strange. Such a little thing. Just had a talk. That's all this research was in the end. Not much, is it? Just trying to make it listen when he begged for convergence. But I had a different prayer. It spoke. And then it listened. Make this stop, I said. Maybe it understood, but...
Why can't I see you again, Isaac? I loved you. I always loved you. Oh God, Nicole! No! Frag Dad, thank you for the five bones, dude. Love your channel, Josh. Hey, thanks, Frag Dad. I appreciate your company, man. Thank you for the five dollars as well. I really appreciate the kindness. It means a hell of a lot, dude. Thank you. Who was that? That's Nicole. That is uh, Isaac's former girlfriend who is now dead. As we saw the video, she uh, you did this to yourself. She unalived. Nicole's been dead this whole time. And the marker's been messing with our heads so much that we thought Elizabeth Cross was Nicole. And Elizabeth Cross thought that we were someone else as well. The marker won't turn anyone else into its puppet. Give me the loader remote. The forever sleep, yeah. Thank you again, Frag Dad. Well. Imagine that the foam finger was a precursor device made before the marker and it was made specifically to keep the marker in check. <laughs> yes, this this item controls the marker. It's the marker's number one fan. Hey, give me that item. I don't even need it, but give it to me. Power node. Well, hello there, fellas. Everyone okay in here? Are you ready to make us whole? Last warning, Isaac. I mean it. Daniels.
why you gotta smack me like that, man? Oh, dude, even if I were to uh, actually like hit them all, it only lets you do one at a time. Understandably so, understand. I get it. Slide to the left. Slide to the right. Slide to the left. Slide to the right. Someone get this giant, whatever the hell this is, some damn Pepto Bismol. <laughs> I love that he opens up his chest and Isaac's like, <laughs> that's just that's just all it takes for Isaac Clark, man. Just one little pew. Too late for Pepto. The ulcer is now his face. The heartburn is now outside. Oh. You know what? You might be right. You might be right. Are you guys ready for the alternate ending? Are you ready? Trusted contractor and reunion. Oh. Yeah. We were lucky to see her in her prime. Are we going home, Isaac? 
There's so much work to do. Soon, I promise. Gotta build a little something first. For me? What is it? It's a surprise, sweetie. But I think you're gonna like it. <laughs> that is kind of cool. All right, I like that. So basically, the marker has basically broken down Isaac's mind at this point. He has the codes in his brain to build a new marker, and that's what he's going to build. That was that. That was Nicole. That's his girlfriend. See the writing everywhere? Yeah. And he had that creepy ass smile going. Oh, man. I think that's thumbnail worthy, too. So that's cool, man. That's pretty cool. All right. 50,000 credits awarded, 10 power nodes awarded. Neat. Neat. That was pretty cool, man. Yeah, it was cool to see an alternate ending for the game. You know, uh, it's been a well-established ending for so long. Even if it's not canon, it's kind of cool to see something different. You know, I like that. I like that. Nicole was blonde. The chick was brunette. I think it was the lighting for you, Frag Dad. The lighting is very dark there. She's still blonde. I don't get it. All that to create the same person, but worse. Uh, I mean, it's still Isaac Clark. It's just he's far more advanced in the brain breakdown to the marker. Okay, guys, that's it. That's it. We are officially donezo with Dead Space Remake for uh, content on my channel. What this means is I'm going to take a break. I'm going to take a couple days off. I'll be back on the 7th. The 7th is, I believe, Tuesday, right? Yeah, Tuesday. Tuesday, we're playing Hogwarts Legacy, guys. Hogwarts Legacy on Tuesday. I hope you're here for it. It would mean a lot to have you guys here. Come check out the game with me. Even if it's something that uh, you might not like, it'd be cool to have you here to just kind of hang out with us anyway, just like any other game. It would mean a heck of a lot. Did I find all, all the marker pieces? Yes, that's how we got that alternate ending. Yes. Yes, yes. I hope you guys enjoyed your time here with Dead Space stuff. And now we're moving forward on to uh, Hogwarts Legacy. Other games coming out this month are Wild Hearts and Atomic Hearts. I'll be checking both of those out. As well as Sons of the Forest enters early access on, I think, the 23rd. So I might check that out, too. We'll see. We'll see what happens. All right. Anyways, folks, I'm going to go get some food. I am starving. I'm going to go eat. Thank you for chilling with me today. It was awesome to have you guys here. As always, it's just... I appreciate your company. And thank you for 450 likes on the video today. That's also awesome. I appreciate it. And until Tuesday, I hope you guys enjoy the next few days. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. I'll see you Tuesday for Hogwarts Legacy. In the meantime as well, if you haven't already, go check out my channel. There's a lot of videos on there. You can watch some old streams. I also have some other content that is specifically just videos. Uh, everything from boss guides to full playthroughs of other games that I did off stream. It'd be cool if you guys could check that stuff out over the next few days. And until then, be excellent to each other, okay? Excellent to each other. Much love, folks. Thank you for everything. I'll see you soon.